Welcome back to Tabletop Titans for another epic game of Warhammer 40,000. I am here on this beautiful Saturday with my good friend Brian, who's back in town. So excited to be here. Uh, it's been a long time since I got to play 40K, I back know. since I was here in December. Yeah, When right? was that year? It December. Was, oh my gosh. Yeah. That was the last game of tabletop gaming, and uh, I've, been, I've been watching at home, <laughs> uh, wishing I got to play with my toys. So excited to be here hanging out with y'all and playing again. Well, we're very, very glad to have you. Of course, you're going to be here for a number of days. That's Today right. we're playing 40K naturally, but don't miss out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. We're going to be playing some old world. It is time. That's right. You've I've been, been painting furiously. I've been painting, yeah, furiously. All those battle reports <laughs> I've been watching and yep. just been painting. We've got a handful of armies, mm -hmm. so we're going to have different armies every day. Yep. And uh, even if you've never seen this game, it's this is, this is where all this came from. All of yeah. this tabletop gaming yeah. basically came out of this game. Uh, I've been playing that game since I was a, just a tiny little right. kid. This was like your game. Yeah, right? it has such a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very, very excited to uh, just get to play a few games with it. Yeah, and definitely. So tune in for that. We're going to be, of course, uh, playing it for the first few times. Yeah, that's right. And like learning it as well. We're obviously going to make yeah, sure so we know the Yeah, so you'll learn the game too. Exactly, right? yeah. exactly. So join in for that. It'll be uh, Monday in the evening, Tuesday for the members. So if you want to check that out, become a member. And then Wednesday, we're going to try and do an earlier game at this time slot right. for all you folks in the rest of the world uh, that might miss the show otherwise. So exactly. a lot of exciting stuff coming up next week. But today we have, of course, you. So we're playing Tau. Yes. But guess what? I'm the Tau player oh, now. Oh, the What's tables up? have turned. I know. Well, truth is, I had some talks with Brian. And I was like, what do you want to play? And he's like, you know what? I want to play like some Space Marines or some, of some sort. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Ultramarines, super cool, super fun. When right is now. the last time I played my Ultramarines? Like over a year. Way, two way years. too long ago. Two years. Oh my gosh. So I have so many armies here in the studio, and I don't get to play them yeah. uh, very often anymore. Exactly, yeah. So last time I was here, I played Tau. I brought a bunch of new Tau models, yep. and I, I played my Templars, and you know some of the stuff I had new models for. Mm. My Ultramarines have been sitting on the shelf, not being played by me. Yeah. You know, I picture them in like a Toy Story concept. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. If, if, oh, if, no. if I'm like Andy, they're like so sad, you know. <laughs> So um, <laughs> that's uh, genuinely heartbreaking. Oh yeah, right. So uh, <laughs> they need to get out here and uh, you know just excited to have them. Look, I love it, and of course I'm playing the Tau today uh, with Triptide. Everything always returns to Triptide at the end of the year. <laughs> that's all the army is. <laughs> that's what it is. I'm excited. It's it's not going to be the Triptide of old. It's very balanced list. Yeah, super excited for it. And of course, if you want to get updated on all the stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. Hit that subscribe button That's down right. below. Get notified. Ding that bell. There, this side. It's like it's like it's down in there. the middle. It's, it's in, in the virtual table. space. We were just. I wish we could see it. That would actually be dope. We'll yeah. get there one day, yeah. right? Uh, look, with that, let's dive on in and take a look at these armies. Look, Brian. Today I am the Tau player. Look at me. I'm playing Tau. You're playing Ultramarines. Let's go. I'm super excited to be playing a newly updated version of the Tau with points reductions on a number of key units such as Riptides, while other key units such as the Crisis Suits went up once again in points. My warlord today is a commander in cold star suit with exemplar of Kalyon, naturally, joining a unit of three crisis suits with triple cyclic ion blasters, and we also have Dark Strider himself joining a unit of ten breachers riding around in a devilfish. Because we are Tau Sep today, we have special agent Alan Va himself just going to be floating around being an amazing lone operative, and it is a very, very tough unit to kill. I have two more units of ten breachers, each of which will be riding around in a devilfish for some great utility gameplay. We have a lone ghost guild today, kitted out with all the melt possible, and two single piranhas, each of which have their own fusion blaster. As we mentioned before, the Riptides have seen points reductions, so we have not one, not two, but three in the list today. We'll see how they do. And we've got two units of three stealth suits. They can infiltrate and are great for just scoring some secondaries. Last but not least, this wouldn't be a modern talus if we didn't have some tetras, so we have two units of two providing those super marker lights. Ryan today has had a hankering to play his old Space Marines, so he's bringing the Ultramarines. This is, of course, not quite the John Lennon list, but it does give you a sense for how it, the army can function. Let's see if Brian can handle it. His warlord today is none other than Marnaeus Caligar, who's going to be joining a unit of six Boltstorm Aggressors, and they themselves are joined by an Apothecary Biologus, who's giving them lethal, but most importantly, the Blade Driven Deep, allowing them to infiltrate. Next up, he has Uriel Ventress, who's going to be joining a unit of three Blade Guard. He is largely in the list here to give Deep Strike to this next unit, however, which is a unit of six Centurions. These large lads are equipped with LAS cannons and the grenade launchers, and due to the detachment, can do some uppy downy shenanigans, triggering some extra abilities. Next up, we have a unit of five Intercessors to protect the backfield, and a unit of three Eradicators for some tank busting. 
We also have a big brick of six plasma inceptors that once again, due to the strats, are able to pop around the battlefield and get angles on those nasty targets. Rounding up the list, we have two units of five infiltrators that can, yep, you guessed it, infiltrate, as well as prevent deep strikes within 12. Next up, we also have a Redemptor that recently went up in points yet again, but we still want to play around with him on the table. And I'm last of all, of course, a Calidus Assassin for extra uppy downy shenanigans. Let us know who you think is going to win and who you're rooting for. Ryan, I'm the top player now. All right. What's going on? <laughs> so excited for my boys in blue. <laughs> Super excited. We, of course, have this beautiful desert board today. Nice high contrast between the right. blues and the greens. Uh, we have a mission that we've selected for you all. Let's take a look at what it is. Uh, we, of course, have drawn a deployment, a primary, and a, and a mission special rule. Well, before we get to that, Adrian, it looks like you may be cheating again. Uh, can Ooh. Dark Strider go with Pathfinders or only with Pathfinders? Only with... Oh, you're saying they can't go with Breachers, he only joins Pathfinders. Yeah, might want to check that. Um... I feel like maybe it's a typo on GW's part, because yeah. it would be cooler if he yeah, could go. Yeah, exactly. Daisy there, Wait, what Adrian. the heck? Yeah, I mean, this sense. is he better is for me. He is a Pathfinder. So he'll just stand in the back and be awesome. Oh, you're this just going to is... use him as a loan out. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, he's not loan up, but he uh, prevents deep strikes. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Well, I it. Cool. That's fine. Now that we've added Thanks. that Adrian's Chat. a cheater, here yeah. is the mission for today. All right, we've got the deployment, the primary, and the Sorry. mission special rule. We have a search and destroy, um, which of course is five objectives here. Yep. Uh, our primary, keeping it nice and simple, take and hold. This is old school. Hold one objective, hold two objectives, hold three objectives if you can. And of course, whoever's going second is going to score their primary in the last turn yep. at the end of the round. Last of all, chilling rain. I know we're in the desert, but this is that one day of year we get rain, and look, we need it. I think, you know, chilling rain <laughs> and, like, you know, a desert kind of are the same thing in yeah. a way. Like, it's That's like true. Yeah. they're both shutting you down. <laughs> right, right. There's so, just nothing here. So in this case, it's just a, it's just a typo. It's, 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 yeah, you know. it's arid, uh, arid nothingness. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So no special rules. Uh, we, of course, have the board here. It's a pseudo-GW-style deployment, so you can see all the terrain here today is ruins. Uh, which means, of course, it's uh, essentially obscuring if you're behind it. All the bottom floor are going to be line of sight blocking where there are windows. There are none. Um, and then, just for a sense, we've got some openings here, 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 and, of course, on the other side there. Uh, with that, Brian, it's yeah. time for the Yield Fashion roll-off. This is going to be Adrian with the yellow dice. And I'll have the white. Whoever rolls highest has to go first. Let's see it. Ready for this? Mwah! Huh! Oh! oh no! All right, man. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Likewise. Oh boy. Okay, so let me fix that Dark Strider for chat. Uh... While you're doing that, it's clear we've got some reserves. So I have my Centurion Devastators in reserve, and I have my Plasma Inceptors in reserve. Absolutely. Uh, those Centurion Devastators in reserve from Uriel Ventress. This is the Ooh. first time I'm playing with Uriel Ventress. Right. On the table. Yeah, That's shout exciting. out to uh, Lenny Crafter who painted up this beautiful Uriel for us a couple years ago. Yeah, I remember seeing him come in, right? but I never got to use him. Now, now today's the yeah. day. I just have Anva, the ultimate mm. secret agent, in uh, reserve. Everything else is on the board. Uh, you have so much flexibility and in infiltrators. Yeah. I'm not going to try to mess. You know around. what? I love the idea that you know Anva. <laughs> okay, I like that. This, this is my head cannon. You know how okay, Anva okay, is like he's like dead and yeah. he was killed by assassins. Yeah, totally. But he actually faked it so right. that he could become the most oh. secret assassin ever. Yes. Okay, and that's what's going on. I've got my assassin here, yep. who's out to expose him for what he actually is. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, that's this is really an assassin off. This should be the new the new Henry Cavill show, honestly. He's like, no, I'm telling you, man, Anva's alive. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. okay, Cavill, this assassin. Yeah. I'll prove it, but I'm also going to kill him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Of you amazing. <laughs> that's 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 what's really happening here. I'm super excited. Um, I don't think we have any scout moves that we need or want to do right now. Um, let's just see what secondaries I get. Okay. All right, Mel. Two of your Pretty finest much. secondaries. Here are my finest. Delo uh, de <laughs> tele yeah. Deploy teleport. Mm, I just good. put it's those good. words together and cleanse. Uh, perfect. I love Not this. Not bad. Not so bad deploy at homers. All. Yep. Do an action in the center or in your deployment zone. Right. We'll do it in the center for three points. And of right. course, cleanse. Do actions on two objectives along the middle. For a big five Should be points. pretty straightforward. I love it. Because we both got a ton of scouting here. Yeah, oh my right? god. We're I got a scouting unit here, boop, here, boop, here, boop. and then you have on all three as well. Exactly. I'm ready for it. Way up the board. Okay. Uh, we with that we each get a CP and I I'll take it. Oh, I have no black dice. Oh <gasps> yeah, they're over here. It's over here. Yeah, we have two each. Don't lose them. Okay. No problem. We're not buying more for you, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like I'm just gonna get going to plan for the turn, get up, do those actions, kind of position myself, don't open myself up to uh, uh, counter charges. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty quiet, I think. And uh, we can see how chat is doing on this beautiful day. 
Chat is doing great. They're super Hi, excited for Ooh. Brian, OG Brian, to be in the house. Yeah. Very confused you're not playing Tau, but <laughs> as it goes. Yeah, anyone, we need to change it up. If anyone has any questions, send them on in. As I say that, one immediately pops up. So thank you so much, Hytorian. I love my aggressors, but they always seem to die really easy after their first activation, yep. mm. if they survive to activate at all. How do I keep elite models alive to make up for their high 300 plus unit cost? That's that's a really great question. And I think that, uh, you know, we were even discussing that before. I have a huge unit of aggressors here and my centurions and even these plasma uh, uh, inceptors. These are all units where they can kill any one thing or maybe even one and a half, two things right. in a single turn. But often that will only just make up their points cost or maybe not even. Yeah, exactly. And, and your opponent will then put everything they can into getting out of it. And what you need to do is really not try to get your points back all at once. Mm -hmm. I think you need mm -hmm. to look for how, it's a long game, how can you get many turns out of them and be cagier than you would ever expect you need to be. Yep. So there's kind of two things. One, I've got my, my aggressors here and I could have put them dead in the center, mm. put a ton of pressure, I could have gone in, disrupted his whole army, his whole plan, and, and definitely got my points back but probably lost one of my, my essentially queen units. Uh, by, by putting them on the side here, I make it so that they're, no one can get to them. They're, this whole side is unassailable. That already, if they held that, the whole game is worth their points mm -hmm. of me bringing them. Absolutely. But then they're still in striking distance of the center. And I can bring them out slightly later in the game when the opponent has to overcommit to kill them. So I think what you just generally have to do is look for a place where you can strike and then be either fully hidden or enough hidden that your opponent has to overcommit and overextend so that again you're getting more points for what's dying in, in exchange. Exactly, I think that's super important. Getting that value over the course of the game is essential. And that's actually kind of the, the core tenet of the list that you're playing today. Exactly. You know, it's got these big bricks um, and you need to keep them alive. And it's all about how do you position in a way that, that lets you get the value over the whole game. And if your opponent wants to get them, it's gonna really punish them for that. Yeah, especially against the Tau here. If, if, I, mm -hmm. if I leave one of my big units out, the Tau will just eat them, and they can eat them from a safe, pretty safe distance. Yes, absolutely. And so uh, I have to be extremely cautious right. uh, in that regard. So I think it's, they're, they're, you know, with the aggressors in particular, they also have the opportunity to shoot and charge in a single turn. So you look for opportunities oh, just to yeah. fully maximize. You know, shoot one target, charge another, then, then be safe in a, in a spot, where then you get to do that one more time. Mm -hmm. Then you're really in, in a good spot. The other thing is if you know you're leaving them in a place where they're going to die, make sure your opponent is going to pay for that yes. so that the thing that they need to bring out to kill it, you now kill that in exchange and hopefully you kill it easier. You have an easier time doing that than they, they did getting to you. Absolutely. I totally get that, Hytorian, though. That is something as a newer 40k player that I'm having such a hard time not just throwing my <laughs> big models. I'm like, totally. these are my Terminators. They're going to go... Kick some butt, and then an Adrian's like, they're gonna die, and I'm like, yeah. Ugh, like, but I don't know. It's the art form, it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's okay for something to die as long as it took too much from your opponent yeah. for exactly. it. Exactly. Um, and that's that's always what you want, and uh, you know, if you can get your points, often you don't have to do that much. Like, you don't have to mm -hmm. overextend to get your point. Yep. So The threat of something yeah. can also be just as powerful. So like, you have your aggressors yeah. here, I don't really want to go anywhere there. You notice that it's kind of forced me onto this side. Yeah. And even if they end up not getting Indirect. their points worth, yeah. you're forcing me to not go there. I comfortably have my side, and then late game yeah. I can come out with them and be a big problem. Exactly. So thanks, Hytar. I appreciate the question. I think I'm all done with movement. I've done a few things here. Uh, we've just kind of scooched onto this flank. We're going to be cleansing with this ghost kill and this objective. Right. I'm going to be cleansing with the stealth suits. I, I generally don't like to put something in the middle early on because you can shoot, charge, kind of a, whatever. Yeah. But I need to cleanse, so I'll do that. And then I'm going to deploy homers with the uh, devilfish that only has to be within six inches rather than three. And that way I can kind of keep my transport alive kind of more valuable than these three at this point. Right. I've advanced my still suits into, into the ruin here so they're nice and hidden. And again, if Brian wants to come get them, he can, but it's kind of... 70 points for me and probably a lot more points well, for him. Well, then your whole army has line of sight to there without even coming out of, exactly. you know, coming out. And then we're just kind of tucking in here a bit. I have done a bit of pre-measuring. The uh, eradicators, they move five, they shoot 18. So I want to be up just outside of 23 inches with my big robots that they love to shoot and kill. Right. So, and then we want to be... Pretty tucked in. Tucked in there to be yeah. hidden from them as well. 
That's the plan. You're the patient easy. hunter. I am the patient you know? hunter. I'm it's, trying, right? That's, that's what it's <laughs> Actually, all about. I'm very much a Kayong kind of person. <clears throat> you so really are. I am. <laughs> to, yeah. to a fault. Uh, so shooting, we'll do that. We'll cleanse here, cleanse here. I can't see anything. It's a nice, quiet first turn. And I will pass it over to uh, Brian before we score. So I've got three points on homers for doing it in the middle, a uh, five points on cleanse. Yeah. And that's a good first turn. I'm, I'm, I'm you really can't it. ask for much more. No, I really can't. Yeah. Uh, with that, do you want to pick up your Calidus? Right. I think she has to come down the next turn, which means you could bring her up this yeah. now and then come down in your turn. Yeah, so that, that is what I'll do. Um, so my little Calidus Assassin back here will just go up into my hand. Beautiful. Um, okay. With that, I'll pass it to you. Ultramarines, turn one. Do it. Um, so at the start of my turn, I just need to do my Oath Target. Uh, the, this unit in the middle is definitely going to get uh, killed mm -hmm, because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you fed them to me. Yep. Um, so I might as well make them my oath target just to make it easier for me to, to get out at them. I don't think I'm going to have line of sight at anything else interesting. So yeah, that's what I'll do. It's pretty, pretty easy peasy, right? Okay. And then other than that, I think we just need to pick some cards for me. Yeah, nothing but the best, hopefully. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. We'll let's capture any outposts for Brian. Some let's secondaries. <laughs> yeah, you know it will be. You know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Not Terrible. So no prisoners, which is kill units, up to three. Yep. And then engage in all fronts, be in cable quarters, at least three, ideally four. I mean, you're And uh, do I just have to be in the quarter? You have to be beyond three inches. Beyond three. So, so this will be the tough one, right? Uh, can you see if, uh, if yeah, I'm up against see. that wall? Oh, these guys. Me? Yeah, I think yeah. so. So you need to be basically 27, so it okay. looks great. So we're good. So I'll be able to do the three table quarters mm -hmm. for free. And then killing this unit will just give me uh, two, two points. prisoners. Yeah. OK. It's quiet, but it's not nothing. Yeah, you know? it's yeah, it's it's slightly less points than you put on the board, but uh, mm. I'm I'm still I'm still just, in it. Just by a bit. Okay, well then uh, let me get to uh, let me get to moving and see who I need to get to shoot at those guys. All right, love it. Uh, special shout out to everyone showing up today, and I also <laughs> wanted to give a shout out to uh, the folks running Battle to End Alzheimer's, which is also going on this weekend. Uh, big cool GT uh, War Games Live is reporting on it um, and is being and co-hosted by our very own uh, Melody. Uh, so shout out to that. I did, I haven't watched the game from this morning, but we did have Specs and Digital Designer going head to head uh, this morning. So don't spoil it if you've seen it. I want to I wanna watch it. Uh, but definitely, you know, good people doing, doing a, a GT for good cause. So shout out to all those folks um, doing that stuff. That awesome. is awesome. Also shout out to Siege Roots for gifting five tabletop memberships. Oh, thank you. Amazing way to support the channel. Let people try out new member content. They can check out our Tuesday Old World game. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it, Seatrace. And I just posted the list in chat, and hopefully our Nightbot will wake up um, and start putting those responses. I imagine it's going to like queue in, and then we're going to get the list command like seven times in oh, a row. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because um, that's definitely how it's going to go for me. Um, Excellent. I will take a look at that. We do have a super chat from Three Amigo Studios. Oh. Howdy from Three Amigo Studios. Great to see this old school showdown. Rebuilding my Deathwing with new termies. What is your fave basing style slash flora? Oh, what a good question. Uh, yeah, this is kind of an old world uh, battle ourselves right here. <laughs> um, Basing. That's a oh, tough call. I mean, I can answer. Yeah, you go first. Oh, go okay. First. So I love more is more basing. If you saw my space wolves on Tuesday, they'll be on the channel next Saturday as well. Um, I love putting like lots of. I use epic basing mainly, and I put a lot of like greenery, and then I always love crystals. I will throw crystals in pretty much any basing <laughs> I can come up with. Like I'm currently trying to figure out how to, how do I get crystals under the sea in my Eden Atlas because that would crystals. be amazing. Um, so I always love to add some type of. I like to have some kind of bright contrasting color on my base. Mm. So that's why I usually end up leaning crystals because crystals you can make any color you really want. Um, yeah, I and I, I tend to put a lot on my bases. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that many times I'm like, hmm, where do I put the model? You're like, eh. I love grass tufts. Mm. Ooh, tufts uh, are great. I put tufts on everything. Mm. Um, and I, I think they just look great and they instantly level it up and they're so easy to use. Um, but you know what I just got to use for the first time in forever? Oh. Static grass. Static grass! Uh, because I was trying to make my you, old then? world army and uh, I wanted a bit of throwback. Yes. So I used quite a bit of static grass and I felt that uh, it looked 
really great. Um, That's so funny. And I, love uh, it. I was really happy with it. Right? I think my favorite. Uh, so let's see. To offer a, a different different one, uh, we have what crystals and printings. <laughs> we have static grass. I really like using tan bark. Uh, mm. If you find tan bark or woods that are nice and like dried out, they can make really nice and cheap uh, slate for your basing. So like my krakens are all kind of like a West Coast vibe. So I have a lot of like slate and then teeny little barnacles that I've printed and attached to them. So I'm happy about that one because it's it's less minimalist than I normally do, but it's like kind of subtle. So. What is a key step that you must do when you have foraged bark outside, Adrian? Oh, great question. Uh, you got to put it in the oven. Got to give it a nice, nice bake. I recommend washing it first, get all the dirt and yeah. poop off, but then bake them because you could still have little critters inside and you don't want them crawling out uh, on the shelves. Yep. Exactly. Good point. <laughs> yeah, it also becomes a fun family hobby when you're like, oh, let's go on a walk. And Adrian's like, yes. And I'm like, why are you bringing a satchel? He's like, no reason. <laughs> yeah. He's and foraging he's for basing like, material. Literally exactly. foraging for basing material. Our front yard also has a lot of tan bark. And so I like, I'll like run outside and go like dig through the front yard. It's so trashy. That's looking. why we just have dirt in the front yard now. Yeah, yeah. And we it don't have tan sad, bark. Honestly. So, how's it going, that's Brian? An so, um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I was slightly agonizing. I'm just going to solve my problem because I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to pull these guys back so that they'll have line of sight at uh, mm. your, your, your three models. Totally. Uh, without really exposing them <laughs> too much. Um, you are agonizing. Because uh, at, with Tau, it's all line of sight. It, yes. It, and and you, you get, you're off by a little angle and you're in big trouble. Exactly. So exactly. I've got actually a lot that can shoot them. Mm -hmm. Probably too much. Sure. But if I don't kill them, I get no points and you get the center objective. Yeah. So exactly. it's actually like a, it's a, it's a seven stakes. point swing oh, if I don't kill them. Yeah. And you never know. No, absolutely. They do have stealth, so that'll make it a bit tougher, yeah. you know? Um, and no, I think I think it's great. Okay. And so, you basically have like, I notice you're like yeah. increasing lines of sight, right? So he's yeah. seeing just to here, just so the one there. And, and then, then exactly boom, right. boom. I'm right. playing the yeah. ultramarines like a Tau player. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have to let go, Brian. It's okay. I know. Funny enough, yeah, yeah. I can split fire better than you can. The so. ultramarines are the most Tau of the space marines, though. There we go. We uh, said it. And and that's why I that's why I love them. <laughs> All uh, right, do your worst. Right. So we're gonna start with the uh, Redemptor Dreadnought. Fantastic. And uh, he is going to put it all into the into the stealth team. So we're going to start with his uh, macro plasma incinerator. Beautiful. He does not need to overcharge because you're only two wounds each. Yeah. And I already start at two wounds. And your strength eight, I think. I'm straight eight. St strength so eight. Down two is exactly already. right. Yeah, I like so it. I've got d6 plus one. Bring it on. Oh it's no. Just the two. Island dice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> got to warm up. So I'm hitting here. So I'm minus one. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting here on uh, fours. Yep. But I'm rerolling. Exactly. From oath. Oath of moment. Okay, that's to be expected. Mm -hmm. And then twos. Yes. Very nice. Okay, AP. and it's AP3. AP3, so it would be uh, four, five, six up. Uh, five up with cover. Uh, smushed. So one goes down. Assume at least. Boop. Okay. Beautiful. Next, what we've got is our uh, Onslaught Gatling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so we can just do the small one there. That's eight yeah. shots. One, two, three, four. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so again here, hitting on fours, but re-rolling for Oath of uh, Moment. A little better. All right. Solid, solid. Oops, All sorry. right. And then <laughs> I'm helping. No, I appreciate. This four. And this is uh, three to wound, devastating wounds. You got it. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I mean, that's one way to do it. So we've got covered, just the three up. Uh, okay. And then we take two devastating, so that'll kill another one. So we're almost there. Right. Uh, lastly, oh no, we do have the storm bolters, which are in storm bolter oh, range. Yes. yes. So that's also eight shots. <laughs> Maybe this guy alone. Uh, you honestly might, right? Um, so let's uh, re-roll. Absolutely. And uh, then let's uh, roll to wound. This is going to be three, <laughs> fours to wound because you're T4. Ah, uh, yeah. But I'm twin linked. Twin linked. That's one way to do it. We'll need it. There you go. Okay. Looking for threes again. No AP. Let's go. Oh, so down to one. one wound, and then the Icarus there. rocket pod. Absolutely. Um, and uh, it's just D3. Uh, okay. There we go. Can you do it? Re-rolling. Solid. And. Uh, Anti fly two up. I have fly. That's funny. Oh, there you hey, go. Calm down, jeez. If you want, one. Uh, so back to threes. Threes yeah. with cover. Oh, oh, I just got him. Oh, got him. All right. <laughs> no eradicators for you today. I wanted to die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I, I legitimately have no other shots at no other targets. Mm, yeah. Um, uh, that's. Oh, I didn't bring my oh, catalyst yeah. down, yeah, yeah, which ahead. I should have done just for free. 
Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, I'll just bring her down so that I could use her uh, ability against your, your uh, exactly. command points, your stratagems. Which I, um, we'll take a look at the strats when we have a dead moment, just to let you know what, what is a battle tactic, because I can never remember. Okay, so let's score it up. Yeah, let's take a look. So I've got engage on three fronts. Three points. And then I killed one target two. Uh, for two points. Two prisoners that were not taken. Yeah. It was three models, but you know. I'm not taking any prisoners. <laughs> no, I ain't taking no prisoners today. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything to do at the end of your turn. Taking over to the tower. Turn two. All right, um, this is where it starts to heat up. Hopefully, right? Uh, so I do have Exemplar of Carry On on my Cold Star unit. This means they get Carry On from turn two onwards. That's great. Very spicy. They, they, they turn up the heat right yeah, away. Yeah, he's ready. He's been. St it's funny because he's like the Exemplar of it, but it means he actually... He's, he's more not, Manga. He's not waiting for it, yeah. No, it, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> like, what? The Exemplar of the Carry On should get it later, <laughs> but better. Later, but better. Later, but better. So stand yeah. four. Yes, please. Yes. All right, G-dubs. Uh, if you haven't finished the, the Codex yet, you can write that in. Yeah. Um, I don't have any battle shocks or anything. I'm just going to take two of your finest cards, Mel. All right. To see what we do this turn. See what you got. Go. You've got secure no man's land and bring it down. Mm. So secure no man's land is hold one, ideally two in the middle, easy peasy, and bring it down. Of course, kill monsters and vehicles. You've only got one. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have line of sight to it, and you have minus one damage, which is the perfect defense against my most mobile you, unit. You'd have to extend uh, a lot to me. Yes. Um, uh, <sighs> If, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. If I had, uh, I'll go ahead and keep those. Sorry, okay. Mel. If both of these were the ion riptides, yes. I feel more comfortable. But the burst cannon going down to one damage and wounding on fives, and it's only AP like one or two. Right. You're gonna get, and cover. I get cover. It's just bad. And I've got uh, stealth. Uh, inside yeah. Of Twelve. Oh my god. And you can armor. It's it's just all bad. So <laughs> I don't feel confident about that. But I'm not gonna bin it. Yeah. In the name of learning, why wouldn't you bin it? So you've pretty much decided that you can't do it. No, but he decided he shouldn't do it. <laughs> yes. So he shouldn't do it. <clears throat> yeah, great so question. So what's the argument not to bin it? Because you're on turn two. I understand the argument turn one. Yeah. Is it because there's so many that you could also not do? I guess. So turn two, I get a little bit nervous because there's a sub. There's a category that I'm not. I can't do yet, which is anything to do with Bridger, uh, Brian's backfield. Mm, okay. um, yeah, I can't bring. It's too early to. Ex in. It's too early to ex overextend. Yeah, like and there's so some really you might as well ones. just pitch it at the end of the turn. I think so. I think I just take that. You're already CP. ahead on secondary, so you can afford to lose a little bit there. Yeah, you would say that. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that's why. I, okay. It's yeah. too risky to. Next turn is when I start bidding them because then anything is game basically. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so we'll go ahead and do that. Plus. This is not the turn to overextend, because he can bring reserves next turn. And then that'll give me, I'll get to call the shots as far as my angles. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly what you don't, don't want me to do. I don't want that at all. Yeah. Uh, so as I mentioned, nothing to do with Battle Shock. We can do some primary. I'm holding one, two objectives for 10 points. Yeah, you are. And uh, I'm going to get right on to the movement phase. Hi, chat. Chat right. is doing great. If you have any more questions, send them on in. I'm curious, you know, um, I've seen so many different groups of people, uh, uh, you know, talking about the old world, yeah. who are on different fences. You got these, you know, 40k players who were raised on 40k. Mm. Maybe they never even really saw that game, right? And they're like, "What's what's the fuss or whatever?" <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then I have a group of people that I know here who never stopped playing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, Warhammer Fantasy. So true. And this is the most exciting thing to happen to wargaming for them in, in you know 15 years, right? And they're out at events. Everyone's painting furiously. Uh, uh, there's so much excitement. I'm curious for people, you know, who have never played it, like, mm -hmm. what, mm -hmm. what do you think when you see this game? Yeah. You know, because for me, this <laughs> so game is true. pure nostalgia for me. Right. And, and that's, you know, as we know, nostalgia is kind of a powerful feeling, a powerful drug. Um, so I'm very excited to play this game, mm -hmm. and I, I like mm -hmm. the way it works and the way it plays. But I think, you know, I'm curious if people are very skeptical about it, and yeah. uh, it's all obviously there's lots of flaws in the game right now where you can't buy models. And <laughs> we're talking about old you know, world, right? Old world just specifically. Because, uh, yeah. I think you skipped that because your brain is only <clears throat> on old world. Yeah. Old world. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm just curious uh, if you know people who have played it. Are you excited mm -hmm. to go back? And people who haven't, um, does it Perplex hold you. <laughs> any? Yeah, does it hold any interest at all? Right, right. That's a huge question. It's a very hard game to get into, also because. It requires a lot of like this is a two thousand point Space Marine army. Yeah. This is half as much work as painting a two thousand point Old World army. Absolutely. Um, and uh, that's saying something. And that even is getting where a two thousand point forty K army is a lot of work. It's so you much lose right me. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mel. You just <laughs> we had I... last week. Uh, we were all talking about painting Old World, and chat was like, "Mel, you don't get to paint Old World because you got to finish your Space Wolves." And that was a huge project. Old World is even worse. Yeah. It's much all worse. I want to do yeah. is paint the Lady on Pegasus. <laughs> 
and I can't get that model. I, it, well, that's the other issue, right? Like, we literally, we're printing models as well. Yeah. Because you kind of have to. Yeah, so. I'm lucky. I've been collecting on eBay for the last little while. Right. For years, actually. And, you know, prices might have shot up more recently because there's a, a demand. Mm -hmm. But you could get things at a reasonable price mm -hmm. uh, over the last couple years. So, uh, my Heil Farmy that I painted, you know, what didn't cost me a ton. Yeah, exactly. Um, but now that I want to fill in a few gaps, the prices are pretty crazy. Oh my gosh. It's so it's so much right now. Yeah. Piranhas, yeah, they are base 14. Um, I'll toss an advance on this Piranha. I need to secure and I need to... Bring, uh, bring it down. Which, to not bring it down. I'm not bring it. Okay, yeah. So I'm not doing action, so I'm advancing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nah, I hate that. Brian, is there... A pet so uh, Drew in, in chat says, I would play Old World if they put Kislev in the game. Kislev, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Who's that's that? a human faction that they, they never really released. Um, it's like this northern waste, Russian y human mm -hmm. faction. Lots of black powder weapons, riding polar bears and stuff. So cool. Um, it's riding in the video games. polar bears? Yeah, yeah. I'm in. It's, um, <laughs> they're, they're, in the, they're in the video game. Yes. Uh, but they're not, uh, they don't have like a real model range. Mm -hmm. um, they also, in the video game, have uh, uh, the Army of Kathy. And uh, that's like a China inspired, mm -hmm. you know, dragons and, uh, you know, that, that kind of historical world. And it's a really cool army in, in the video game, but they haven't released it uh, in the uh, in model form yet. And yeah, so they've exactly. hinted that they've hinted pretty strongly, or said outright that they're going to release these factions yeah. eventually. I'd be curious. Did they mm -hmm. say outright? Because we were talking in that chat, and someone's like, they definitely said. It. I was like, I don't I'm, remember I'm, this. I'm, they they said it strongly enough, Six, I think, eight, that, that it was pretty clear. Yeah. But uh, you know, that could be ten years from now. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, who knows? Right. One of the cool things I will say, if you're like wondering, ah, oh, how do I get into old world? There are what's called legacy factions, which mm -hmm. are basically Age of Sigmar factions that you can play mm -hmm. in Old World, and you can just go buy those models really cheap. Like if you want to build a Sylvaneth army, yeah. which is kind of wood elves, yep. um, you only need to buy a few old wood elf models, and then otherwise you can buy a lot of Sylvaneth models. Mm -hmm. And I actually was looking it up yesterday. You can build an amazing army, yeah. very few model count, okay. because the tree men and everything are so many points. Right, There's right. crazy elite, <laughs> and they're, that's fun to paint and, and really inexpensive. So that army you could get on the table quick. See, I agree with Norman, I, and, and Norman says, I love the idea of Old World, but I want new shiny AOS style models instead of 20-year-old mm. sculpts. Like, yeah. Yes, so absolutely. There's what no reason. Why? Why? I, you know, listen, I, I, I love the idea that they re-release the old models, but in the same way that they've been doing with 40K, where they have this made-to-order, mm -hmm. you buy this old box set. You know, they recently re-released, what is it, like the 6th edition or 7th edition 40K box set yeah. as made-to-order. Cool, right. do that. But then, yes, make more new models. With the Bretonian and Tomb King release, Tomb Kings in particular have models that are um, some of the oldest and worst they've ever <laughs> produced. Wow. Those skeletons and, look like some 1950s Disney animation. <laughs> yeah. Right, yes. Um, and uh, and that, I find that to be a little off. And the problem is that the cost for them to produce is probably still fairly similar. So they have to charge kind of modern world prices. Mm -hmm. For these kits, maybe yeah. they could save a bit of money, but probably not. Between you know making boxes, making the kits, you know the molds, you know putting more on a sprue mm -hmm. doesn't really cost them more. It's it's all the manufacturing processes and tooling and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's the problem. You are paying a lot, and you're not getting what you could be. So, it's an opportunity for 3D print uh, STLs and 3D printers who have made nicer models in the interim. Mm -hmm. It's also an opportunity for conversions, um, which uh, is. A fun part of Versions. of what used to be a big part of Warhammer, but now they've really discouraged. But they're encouraging it again with this game, which yeah. I like. I think you got to lean into it, honestly. Yeah, uh, I'm just about done with movement. I got to move my 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 uh, Cold Star uh, unit with Crisis. You don't um, have to. I don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to bring in your reserves in turn three. You can yeah. just let them die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but to talk a bit about the plan, I'm again just trying to screen Brian out. I want to try to reduce some of your scoring at the same time. So I popped out the uh, breachers from the Devilfish. Um, they can hit quite, quite hard. I have given up uh, the short range. Actually, I think it is just, just the range uh, to be able to, on a few guys, to be able to screen you out a bit farther. We pushed up this piranha. Your inceptors keep me so honest because they can drop the three in the three. Yeah, so and you they, have to you stand know, on some, objective. Like something like your crisis, I could take a huge bite out of them. Oh my gosh, yeah. It could be so, so scary. Yeah. So I really got to make sure I respect that. We have the no-go no no 12-inch no zone, which is going to be important here. 
we're, we're then just throwing the devil fish up to kind of continue to screen. Well, it's um, on the point, so now it forces my hand. That was the thing, I debated. I don't always like to stand on the points, but I think in this game, yeah. incentivizing you to come out and play yeah. is definitely worth it. If yeah, because me, me yeah. back inside the buildings is a problem for you. It is, it is, absolutely. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. The Cold Star and Crisis are my one last decision of like how much damage do I wanna do this turn? How greedy do I get? Um, I could, of course, strike and fade for two CP. So the question is, would I pay two CP to to potentially kill a unit? Yeah. I'd have to get really far to get these blade guard. I don't think that's worth it. Um, yeah, they're not an exciting. Target. I hate. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to take another minute? You've got you got a couple hard choices. I will take um, one minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That sounds great. I was also highlighting that these are Adrian's Piper Prince Tau. Oh, yes. Which are oh, amazing yeah. and beautiful. And actually part of um, our Primark program, both on the prints and if you don't have a 3D printer, through Godforge. Yeah, that's right. Um, so Godforge will print the Piper Prince for you, and, and they're a totally licensed vendor of Piper Prints. Because um, I think there's a lot of chat about, oh, not everyone has a 3D printer. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And so much of like this scarcity that we find in Old World and in, in a lot of our other games yeah. mm -hmm. can be gatekeeped mm -hmm. by a 3D printer. I, so there's places like God I agree. Print I think 3D printing, you know, it started slow in the community a bit, but I think now it's kind of pretty well accepted, pretty accessible. There's lots of places you can buy. And the... The sculpts that are out there are bananas. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And so for me, I think there's no new army project I would start today that doesn't include some bits that are 3D printed or a custom model here and there mm -hmm. or even a full army project. Absolutely. Um, and uh, if you haven't, definitely try, like, go on some of these 3D print marketplaces. Go on Godforge and, you know, look for bits that you can create a cool conversion, make your character special. It's always great to have your army just have that one special little thing. Absolutely. Godforge is actually in chat and says, Adrian, if you need an orca, I'm running a first batch soon. Of uh, orca? I, oh I've gosh. always wanted an orca. Oh, I know. We do need an orca. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a big... Wow. That's a big print. It's a huge print. That's yeah. amazing. Our friend Brett has one. I've seen it. Exactly really, right. Really, really cool. Yeah, he loves bringing it out. He's he, got it. Yeah. He, you know, he had always... an LVO at the narrative. It was so sick. Amazing. Um, thank you, everybody. So I, I'm going to do it. I just want to... I need to make you pay the midboard. So yeah. I'll step out. And you have the CP to burn I at have the CP, moment. Yeah, to be honest now. with you, you're not really doing that much with it at the moment. Uh, yeah. Next, so does does next, it going to get expensive next later? Next turn, we're going to start playing hide and seek with yeah. our bricks. And that's when I'm. That's the only thing I'm hesitant about. Yeah. But I think i got to put pressure on. So okay. we'll do that. We'll hop out. Um, we hop will, out with the crisis here. Who can see the dreadnought now? Is uh, that, or that what no, we're going to go for the infiltrators. The infiltrators. Because the it. dreadnought is, uh, they're terrible against it. So right, the because all minus your, is minus your damage. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I can't see the, the blade guard, but the yeah. breachers can. So yeah. we can spot. Uh, spot for the crisis into the infiltrators and yep. then shoot the breachers into the uh, blade guard, yeah. which will put some threat. We pop back here. That's the plan. Um, You'll take a bite. How much CP exactly. is that? Uh, nothing yet. Nothing okay. yet. Okay. It's all preemptive. It's going to be two. It probably won't matter, but uh, I will get yelled at by the top players if I don't do this. Uh, this prawn is going to harass your little dudes here. Ah! So you take a battle shock test Fun. on them. So go ahead and roll us that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. These are ultramarines. They're ultramarines, no problem. Duty and honor. Oh, oh okay. that was close. <laughs> Cutting it close there, but you're good. We we'll go on to shooting officially, uh, and let's just let's just do the plan as we mentioned. So we're gonna have the breachers are gonna spot for the crisis suits shooting into the infiltrators. Um, so that's uh, nothing yet. <laughs> you could pop smoke. They're they're dead. You can armor. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so uh, uh, think if so. there was a chance that one man would live, yeah, yeah, that one man would be very valuable to me. Mm -hmm. But it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, and uh, it's definitely not. When do you have to call whether you're overcharging or not? Um, good question. Because that actually <laughs> affects my my order. Uh, I think I have to do it when I declare the target. Right, okay. Because it's a type of weapon. So I'm going to overcharge with four guns. Four out of the, what is it, 16? Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Four twelve. out of twelve. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're hitting on, they would be by default, so you're minus one. Yes. So I'll be back to hitting on fours uh, with sustained two. That's it. <laughs> I think they're dead, dude. Yeah, I think they're dead. <laughs> so here's the overcharge ones. Let's go. Fours. Uh, boop, 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 boop. No rerolls here. Nope. And then sustain two. Bloop, beautiful. Yep. I'll just roll this through. Uh, strength eight with the overcharge. So yep. two is here. Yep. Beautiful. These are AP2, ignore cover. Chat yeah. was like, this sounds like an uber orca. <laughs> <laughs> an uber orca. I okay. love it. So AP2, so I go to five up saves and you ignore my cover. Yes, yep. exactly. Okay. 
It was Whoa! A, it was an incredible Whoa! roll. An incredible roll. Ryan, calm down. <laughs> uh, so two die. Uh, no, you no I have my helix gauntlet. You have a helix gauntlet. So it's four. Yep, uh, two at a time. Two at a time, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Looking for sixes. We kill one. And... Oh, one of them. Oh, dude. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 no. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> You're about to eat your words. I know. <laughs> So that's, that's uh, four of the guns. You know, have. I really got to believe in the Poison Blue here. <laughs> I know. Gosh. That was amazing. Uh, so this is one more dude uh, and then uh, the two extra. So this is the rest of the regular suits that are oh, not Oh, man. Overcharged. I'm definitely surviving this now. <laughs> You're definitely surviving it. <laughs> ah! uh, again, this is fours. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really wow, good Wow. Jeez. That was a really good roll. One, two, three, four. So that's eight additional. Oh, jeez. This is what geez. we love. Oh, jeez. Exemplar of Kalyan. Let's go. Exemplar of uh, Monka. Yeah. <laughs> Only threes because we didn't overcharge. Okay, ah! not as good. Oh, the dice give it, the dice take it. It hurts my soul. And it's only AP1, so uh, four is here. We have a commander after this. <laughs> ah! Okay, that wasn't great. More normal, yeah. Okay, so. And, then sixes. and I can just do fist of yeah, sixes. Yeah, exactly. Here. Let's just get four sixes. Don't you dare do a fist of sixes. Okay. okay. So one dead, uh -huh. two dead, three dead. Okay, okay. Better. So I have one left. Oh god. And then the uh, commander, might as well be same the thing, just hitting better. So hitting on uh, threes here, because you're minus one. Whoa, okay. Six uh, more hits. Yep. Yep. I'm not saying anything. This is neither good nor bad, nor likely to kill them, nor not likely to kill them. I think it is. Threes. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. AP Fours. one. AP one, yep. Okay. And I only have two wounds left. Yeah, no problem. Don't you dare. Oh, oh. no. You want to do a bucket of sixes? Yeah, bucket of sixes. So I just need what? Three sixes? Yeah, yeah. No, four. I need four. <laughs> I think you can do it. It's a Yahtzee sixes. I think sixes. you can do it. Oh! It's a great roll, it was but good, unfortunately yeah. he goes down. Boop, 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 boop. Chad Beautiful. is saying, don't forget the hazardous. Yes. No, absolutely. yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it 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 looks like Armor of Contempt would have saved them. Yes, actually. Yeah. Which is funny. Yeah. So you know, you never know. Yeah. I have four hazardous dice to roll. Thank you, chat. Every one is three mortal wounds. So here's the real question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, three. That's that was not bad. Not bad at all. So we'll take one suit. Down to three, and we'll go ahead and spend two CP on strike and fade. Uh, I get to make a normal move. It's not a advanced move, which is fine. And this isn't one of the battle tactics that I can uh, reduce the or increase the cost up or anything, is it? I don't know. Let's take a look. We actually need to check that. Yeah. Yeah. So of course, as per the FAQ, way on back, folks. Uh, anything that modifies the cost of a stratagem can only be done on battle tactics. So let's take a look at. We have here. Yeah, my Calidus Assassin can increase the cost of a stratagem. So I just got to pick what, what's an interesting stratagem to actually do it on. Exactly. And so I, let's I don't see. think I really know. Uh, I don't know either. So there's this new command bunker feature. Yeah. Which is, is kind of nice. It shows all your stuff at once, but I okay. also kind of hate it. Uh, it's a st strategic ploy. So. so what are your battle tanks? Those are the reds, right? No, the, the color is the phases. <laughs> oh, the phase. Oh, uh, point blank ambush. So the plus one AP within nine. Okay. That's, okay. that's got to be it. Or a CP reroll. Oh, or CP reroll. Yeah. Uh, what's this one? Uh, I can do the one where I basically have a unit count as having a marker light or being guided. Yeah. That's also a battle tactic. Um, I'm more likely to use the AP against you, yeah. your Marines. Exactly. So I'd probably wait for that. Okay. Uh, so we'll pop back with our one remaining leg. And we have other shooting to do. So we've got the Breachers. They spotted. Now they can go ahead and shoot themselves. They're going to go into the Blade Guardian Leviosa. Yeah. We'll and this is where I will use the Armor of Contempt. Yeah, this and, is, I think, interesting. Uh, unfortunately, Uriel Ventress lets me use a stratagem twice, right. so I could have conceivably used it in both places, and exactly. I only just remembered that now. But um, uh, he doesn't make it free, so I'm still paying so for it. So weird. So I did spend one CP, so down to two. Yep, so one there. Breachers! Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, that's right, so they're just range 10. There's no, like, half range or anything anymore. So we've got these three out, as, as we mentioned. Okay. So it's going to be seven of them, which is going to be 14 shots. One, two, three. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Show me what you got. Let's see. Hitting on threes. Let's go. Wachoo. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Boom, boom. These are out. Uh, we are not in Kalyon just yet. That's right. Strength six. So on threes. Nice. Wacha. Boop, boop. Okay. Um, beautiful. And I'll tell you what. Tell you me what. You don't need an armor of contempt, actually. Oh, because it's going to go to my involve? It's, it's only AP1, and you're in cover. Uh, because I'm not ignoring here, it's still oh, gonna be threes anyways. Okay, okay, okay. So Mel, you can uh, no CP spent for Brian. Okay. Yeah. So this is just uh, three ups. Just threes, yeah. One damage each. Okay. Oh. oh, so that is enough to get one. We did get one, yeah. And then 
uh, one wound on another. Yep, sounds fantastic. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, so that's that there. Not bad. Uh, I, uh, I have no complaints. The most important thing is we've taken the objectives and we've screened them out, right? That's what we wanted here. And you're, you're forcing me to make some reaction. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Um, cool. I do have a piranha, which... It, yeah. I don't like to do this, but I think you'll probably kill it anyways. I have uh, seeker missiles. Oh, so nice. So might as well pop them. I'm going to pop... Can it advance and shoot seeker missiles? Ooh, no. Thank you. You played this game before? Well, uh, not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> More than you, apparently. <laughs> Honestly, that's going to be it. It's another kind of quiet turn for the Tau. We can't see any... Oh, no, we have a Riptide down, downfield at here. Yep. Uh, so, we are going to spot with the uh, Tetris in the back. Okay. We're like mega, this is just a flashlight all across the battlefield. All the way across, yeah. Uh, the Riptide, we have, this is the Ion version, uh, range yeah. 72. You almost make it. Yeah. Cool, perfect. Just about. Right? I think you're in half range. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. I'm going to overcharge it because Mama never raised no cowards. That's right. And uh, let's see what we can do. So, so this is an armor of contempt. This is, no, because I'll ignore, yeah, actually, let's talk about it. AP3, ignore cover. So, yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Okay. So I'll spend the one CP there. To, to there it is. So you got two. Yes. Great. Excellent. Fantastic. Hitting on threes, re-rolling hits, because we're being guided by the super. But minus one to hit for stealth? Uh, so back to four. Minus one from, yeah, not stealth, but yeah. Uh, not stealth, but something like stealth. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, <laughs> strength eight, so two, uh, three, sorry. Threes, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. And then AP3, armor contempt. So AP2. Yep. So I go up to five up safes. Yep, you got and it. And each one is a dead guy. It's four damage, yeah. Yeah, ouch. Yeah. Okay, oh. so I have one left. The one left. Ouch. Shocking. We'll keep the sergeant. Yep, absolutely. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then checking the ranges and everything else. Yeah, plasma's only 24 these days, uh, and that's it. Beautiful. Happy with that. And I don't think I can see anything with my hammerhead. Or sorry, my <laughs> devilfish. Yep. With that, we're going to go ahead and score it up. Do okay, we, what do you got? We have secure no man's land for five points. Yeah, you did it. We are gonna bin it on bring it down, That's getting rid of it for a CP up to two. And with that, I shall pass the turn to the Aspacha Marines. That's right, the Ultra Marines. Yeah. Okay. Wanna, um, so I'm I am gonna pick up the assassin. Pirouette. Um yeah, she's just <laughs> puff of smoke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know the animation. Yes, exactly. And, uh, okay, we're going to start with an Oath target, and yeah. uh, it will have a Battle Shock, but that's at the end of the... So it's all start. In fact, even for start. Oath, yeah. you can wait and see your cards first. Oh, okay. To then prioritize your Oath. Okay, so we'll yeah. do that in a second then. So I'll do my Battle Shock on this lone... Yeah. Well, even that you can wait. Okay, yeah. then we'll do the cards. I would do cards first, Okay. Yeah. Let's see well, then we uh, let's take some cards. Yeah. Got some Extend Battle Lines and Homers. Beautiful. So Extend is, of course, hold your home base and hold something in the middle, which you've already done. Which I've already got. And then Homers is do an action within six of the center or in my deployment zone. And do you have to not be there? No, it's just partially within six, do an action, and you're good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's pretty easy to do with these blade guards. I think you're already there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's a, that's a full ten. Uh, this will be, so it's eight if you do it in the middle. Sorry, three ah. if you do it in the middle, five here. Yeah. Although this might be tough. Can the Kaladis get back there and do it? No, because this is blocking out 12. Okay. So, not likely. Then, yeah, so then this is my only option. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, quarters. Yeah, they don't have assault. They should have assault. They yeah. have traitors, but they don't. Yeah, so it's an easy three. Alrighty. Um, well, then. Before I... we move on, Adrian, can you take a hazardous test on your Riptide? That's true. They love it could take the, the I'm three. I'm going to take three. Here's, I'm ah, sorry. Ah. Don't be a one. Don't be a one. Oh, hey, okay, 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 you okay, did okay. not. Who said that, that in chat? chat? Everyone. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, for every uh, every turn you forget it by, yeah. it's, it's an extra hazardous test. That's true, actually. I like that. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, cool. then, I, I as far as my oath target, yeah. um, there are, I am going to be able to pull some some lines mm, I think where so. I, can, I could pull... Some las cannons here, mm -hmm. get into a riptide and, and not be punished at all yeah, for that. Exactly. So that riptide is probably my best target. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think he's going to be my oath target. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're already rerolling on the centurions. Oh, right. Uh, you, you, did, you did teach me that. So they, it's, it's about who's going to go with the plasma. The hit roll? Yeah, the plasma. So actually, I need to pick who the plasma wants to kill. And uh, the truth is, that might actually be more interesting. Uh, I need to get you off the center objective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's not too hard to get the breachers. Yeah, wow, but it, hurtful. Uh, but it, it's going to be a little challenging to get the tank. Yeah, I agree. And so uh, maybe actually the tank gets it then. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so it's going to be this devilfish in the middle, 
simply because we just don't want you having mm -hmm. any uh, anything on the point. Yeah, it's just a nice little screen that if you mm -hmm. don't deal with it, we'll get points for it. It's yeah, fantastic. lots of points. Awesome. And then we've just got a battle shock before we... Yeah, so here on. it is. Duty and honor. Duty and honor! He's fine. Uh, he's a trill terrain. That's right. And it's a seven, too. Um, and uh, with that, uh, we'll get into my movement phase. Cool, get cool. into moving. We had to say much love to Just Jupiter for gifting one tabletop membership. Oh, so consistent. Every single episode, a membership. Thank you, Just Jupiter. Ju just Jupiter is like the most consistent thing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, just Jupiter's bringing wow, the much so the sanity that I need. I love it. <laughs> and big love to Daniel Herbert, who is now an emperor. Wow, welcome, Daniel. Oh, so welcome to the emperors. You. Uh, they also Exciting. sent in a super chat. Thanks again, Daniel. Hey, hey, Titans. Any of y'all hitting any of the U.S. Opens this year? Dallas, mm. Tacoma, Tampa, then Atlanta? If right. so, it would be great to say hi. Absolutely. I would like to try to make Tacoma. Um, it's the closest event to us, just up in Washington. So oh, nice. it's later. It's much later than I thought, which frankly is a good thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, tenuously, I'm trying to make it to Tacoma. I'd like to do one of them. And then probably the grand narrative at the end of the year, if you're going to go to that. So, uh, would love to see you, and uh, looking forward to getting your Emperor sticker up on the wall next week. It's very exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Adrian, you never told me that Godforge has My Little Pony Marines. Oh, man. I might have, that might have slipped my mind. And how <laughs> do mask. I run these in my space <laughs> walls? Can I run them? It's like... Little friend region wolves, or can like you on the channel, or like in your own personal life. The one thing that we know, <laughs> the reason you cannot do that, is because we know that friendship is magic, and we know the space wolves hate magic. <laughs> yeah, magic is heresy. No! So uh, no! it's just not, it's just not gonna work. So yeah. sorry. So uh, true. I will create a whole new army to be able to run them. <laughs> the friendship marines. Yeah, I'm here for it. Honestly, <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, I love what it. is the range on plasma? Is it uh, 12 or 18? Uh, it's at least 18. Oh, at least? It's 18 or 24 Stop these Stop making these things so good. It's <laughs> yeah. 18. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pezzler, the polychromatic. Oh, Brian, hey. purge those Tau with the fur fury of the Canadian cobra chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to know what that means. <laughs> Isn't the Canadian cobra chicken a goose? Uh, it's, uh, it's a Canada goose, yeah. Yeah, a yeah. Canadian, the cobra chicken. They're, they are very mean and angry animals. That's amazing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Thanks, Pezzler. As always, appreciate it. Well, I don't know if I appreciate it, but thanks. 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 Gee, thanks. Uh, Christian in chat has my back and says, Space Wolves will just say that friendship is from the world wolf, thus not magic. Yeah. <laughs> That's very yeah. true. You know what? Nailed it. What are you talking about? These aren't psychers. These are priests. <laughs> this is from the All Father. <laughs> Really? <laughs> These are the old gods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Thanks so much, Pezzler. Also reminding us of the Canadian cobra chicken, which makes me giggle every time. Terrifying. Thank you, Seed Roots. Everyone hyped for Old World, and I'm Squidward looking out the window dealing with my pile of shame. Give a new Skaven. Brian, how many reps do you have in with the current iteration of Marines? Thoughts? <laughs> uh, I have uh, two, one and a half turns uh, <laughs> with the current iteration of Marines. And uh, my thoughts are that um, they have a really pretty blue color. And I, I like that. Um, and, These are uh, the most important. Uh, I, I don't know. I like the rules of this edition, personally. Um, I like the way Marines work. I like, I like the rules. I'm, I'm happy with it all, to be perfectly honest. I do have to say, though, as so Brian and Adrian have played many, many editions of Warhammer, mm -hmm. and watching them update to new rules, they can do it so fast because they're just like, "Oh, what are the what are these the new names for the old mechanics?" Right. And just making small alterations. Yeah, that's key. The whole the game is all the same ideas recycled over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> tales old as time. Exactly. Uh oh. Here it comes. So the Centurions need to pick a safe spot. I just need to be within 36 uh, for my missile launcher, which is all the way back here, my which God. is a preposterously safe it's place to so be. so far. So far. Uh, uh. Listen, like, why do you need a 72-inch gun? Uh, uh. Right? I guess two, two can play with that game. Punishment fits the crime here on the Riptide. Exactly. Yeah, Centurion's so fantastic right now. I oh. love Centurions. I remember I painted this army up and we went to an event, right? And I yeah. had the aggressors and the Centurions <laughs> and so cool. Calgar. 
What that, a cool event. That was a great game. Oh that, was, that was great. Um, so that was the only time I took them to a tournament, but I'm pretty sure they got... I went undefeated, whether they got first or not. No, I think you, you got first. I, I think, think it I was did. It was you and I at the end. Uh, you had these. I had uh, <clears throat> Iron Hands. Right. And um, yeah, you had Gilliman right. in the list. Yeah, remember that? And then didn't we, the next turn, like, uh, we both had Iron Hands. Yeah, we both had the, it was and a we were both in, We were both in the top table with Iron Hands, so only <laughs> subtle differences between our lists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it was like a who got to shoot their Eradicator <laughs> cannon first. Such a stressful game. So good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, dark, the darkest timeline. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was great. I oh, love it. <laughs> ah. Chat does rightfully call me out by saying, yeah, but that's the same thing that makes them infuriatingly skip the extremely important blah, blah, blah. So true. It's hard when it's like mostly the same, but then like the same words or like it's just a little bit different. It's uh, totally. You get that addition fatigue a little bit for sure. I love well, skipping Well, you get that blah, false blah, blah. confidence. You're like, yeah, this is totally, I know this is for oh, sure. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, I feel so bad about that sometimes. You can totally use this strat on vehicles. What are you talking about? Yeah, I try to get this, gets this wrong all the time, What's, but this is how it works. Can you tell me what the range on the Calidus' flamer is? Uh, yeah, it's probably 12. Then that'll do it. That'll, that'll do. We'll there see. are those pretty Centurions. I think I am down. Oh, um, I'll be down. Uh, yeah, 12. Do you 12? want to sum up yeah. what you just did in the movement phase? Yeah, um, the last thing is like, uh, these guys are just sitting pretty. I think now's not quite their time yet. Mm. Um, so I have the blade guard here, just within six. They're yep. going to do the action. Um, I have uh, tons of marines, so two five-man squads that could shoot at the breachers. I have the dreadnought that could shoot at the breachers. Um, I also have the Calidus's flamer that could shoot at the breachers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't know. They should be done. They should be, yeah. I have my plasma scepters, which are behind a wall and can shoot at the uh, the, the tank fish. here. Yep. I have the centurions that have range and line of sight down on that riptide on the other side of the field. So um, really, uh, ha happiness for me would be uh, the Breacher's dead, the tank finished, and the riptide uh, mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of limited line of sight where you got to come just a little too close. Exactly. Um, to, to, get, to get back at me. I like it. Before we move it. on, let's turn back time a little bit and score at Brian's primary. Right, Whoa. I was on two. Uh, uh, for 10 points. Beautiful. Excellent, thank you. And just remind me, uh, my other secondary, sorry, I just needed to extend, extend battle lines. and deploy teleport and, and homers. And homers, which I'm gonna Good. do. And if I charge, then I, I will fail that action. You actually can't charge. I can't There's charge. There's no way to turn it off anymore. So. Okay, so if I do need to charge, I can charge with maybe the, the, yeah. the Marines or something What you can like do that. is, so this is just instead of shooting, so you yeah. can wait to do the action. Um, like no, I'll, you don't really I'll have do the backup. Action. No, I don't have a backup. It's, I have lots of things that can charge. It's, yeah. it's not really yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah. That's so right. there isn't too much of an order. There is an order of operations with these guys, but mm -hmm. not too much. Most people can see almost everything. Yeah, exactly. So you can pull me out of flamer range. Uh, mm -hmm. So the flamer's going to go first. Yeah, check um, So let's go first with the Calidus' flamer. This mm -hmm. is uh, just a D6. Uh, 12 D, or D6. 12 D6? 12 D6, yeah. <laughs> Why not? D6 shots. Just flat D6. Yeah. It's two. It is two shots. And it's anti-infantry two up. Yep. <laughs> Yep, nice. AP and it's two. AP too much. Uh, it's not ignore cover, so I get uh, fours, threes, fives. Flamers should always ignore cover. It's so weird, and yeah. people forget that because usually they do, but not always. Uh, so you kill two. Don't again. Don't know that it super matters. So we'll just pull this way. Bloop, bloop. Beautiful. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Next, <laughs> what we'll go is the next unit with the most limited line of sight, mm. which is probably uh, these guys. Oh yeah, for sure. So we've got five infiltrators, which uh, just have their infiltratory bolt guns. Yeah, it's carbine. So two shots each. That's right. Uh, heavy, two, which is stupid. Four. Um, so ten shots. Six, eight, ten. It is heavy. It's. I know why the GW are like, oh, it's yeah. He's like, I'm just not gonna do a British accent, but they're like, oh, he's sneaking around and standing. I'm like, no, it should be assault, so they can like do tactical stuff. Makes sense. Hitting on threes. Yep. That was good. Beautiful. That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, three to wounds. You got it. Hup, hup, hup. I'm cool. AP here? No. Nope. Uh, so we'll take the three behind cover first. So this is going to go down to threes. Oh, threes. Okay. It's one dead. Beep. Beautiful. Meow. Okay. Meow. Um, next, what we've got is regular old intercessors. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. your uh, intercessors don't re roll on points. That's the. Uh, 
uh, assault, assault intercessors. intercessors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just have 10 shots there. Fantastic. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. Beautiful. Hitting on threes. And uh, boop, boop, this boop. is uh, assault and heavy. Right. Yeah, it's, it's that, that I like. That one makes sense. Yeah, so threes here. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Uh, and uh, this one is AP1. AP1 and yeah. not, not really any cover, so yeah. fives. Hup, hup. Oh, okay. I'll take okay. it. I'll take it. Uh, that charge is looking ever more plausible. <laughs> Jeez. Well, it's going to come down to the uh, Dreadnought now mm. of whether he can uh, uh, get it done. Look, he picked up all the other guys. I, I, do, have, uh, uh, I do have a blast weapon, mm. which is my Macroplasma. But it's only... Uh, so that one is blast, yeah. and then... Oh, that's it. I thought the Icarus was as well, but it's not. No, not anymore. Okay. And it might be worth overcharge just to get the AP, because I will get cover on almost everything. So AP3 would take you to what? Uh, sixes. Okay, Sorry, so if I... No, no, AP3 would go all the way through. So that's that's my non-overcharge profile, is with AP3. With cover sixes. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. I, I did okay, that okay. job. <laughs> um, I did that job. So yeah. supercharge. So I will supercharge that. Yeah, I think you might as well, right? Okay, so this is D6 plus one plus... Uh, one. Good blast. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so seven. Two, four... Six and seven. Beautiful. This is uh, my boy here is hitting on threes. Yep. Threes and twos. Boop. Boop. And twos. Two disintegrate. Uh, that'll be five dead. Okay. One, two. I just will give myself the chance, though. We'll leave one on the objective. You, you always shall. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always. Always. Um, so now what we'll do is twin storm bolters. Four mm, shots. Totally. Uh, no, four shots per. So, uh, no. Uh, it's just one twin. Yeah. No, it is two twin. It is two twin? Because okay. each one is yes. like, it's like this. You're right, you're right. Hitting on threes. Yeah. And yep, yep, uh, yep. wounding on threes, twin links. Got it. Two link. Mm -hmm. And then and three threes, up. cover. Down to one. Okay, and then uh, he does still have the onslaught Gatling. He does. <laughs> still, it's still a lot of shots left. So, he just keeps going. He does. This is why they going. went up in points. Oh. Oh. And then uh, this one is strength oh, five, so threes, but I just need a single six. No. 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 Oh, oh no. no. Can he live? And I got a CP. Am I going to I still have the Icarus. Oh, that's true. Uh, uh, he, he, he lives. Alive. He's alive. He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. <laughs> Icarus. So the Icarus needs to do it? Yeah. This is crazy. I D3. It. Okay, it's two. Beautiful. <laughs> Hitting on threes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Two. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We do, of course, have an Eradicator and a million Scepters. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> it's such a waste. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was checking. That's, that's what you always want, the one guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a hero. No matter what happens, he's a hero, and he'll live on forever in our memories. He is a hero. You're <laughs> absolutely right. Oh, boy. Uh, so, Devilfish, to give you a sense while you're kind of weighing that out. Three up save. They will get two because of cover. Um, Thirteen wounds. Yeah. Toughness nine. I don't have smoke though, which is what I was hoping to see here. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have no strats, uh, no strats that can help me in my shooting against you. Uh, no, no offensive strats. You could do. Um, the question is, where do you want to strike from the shadows? You probably want it it's to them. So they're hitting on. So it's hitting on twos. Yeah. Extra AP. Because here I'm rerolling all my hits already. <sighs> yeah, I agree. So, Strike from the Shadows is still better here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my AP is already huge here, right? Yes. My AP on the Interceptors is three. Three. So I oh. will have two. So I'll get five ups. So actually, I need the AP here more than I do there, because you have the Invulnerable save on the Riptide. Correct. And I'm already taking you there. Correct. Yeah, actually, so it actually yeah. might make more sense here. Yeah, and here you're at least still, like, you'll still be hitting on threes, but rolling ones. Yeah. Um, Adrian, and this is points. Did you take the Guardian drone with your Breachers? Um, let's just say you didn't. <laughs> let's just say I didn't. <laughs> Great, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he had gun drones. Ever since we know the models, it always I always forget that. Because uh, yeah, that would have reduced the strength. Yeah, it's, you take a marker and you take a, it's minus one to wound. Minus one to wound. That's yeah. That's the way it goes. Sorry, chat. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is one CP mm -hmm. um, to give me plus one ballistic skill, plus one AP, and ignore cover. No. No. Okay. Nice try. That would have been too good. <laughs> and if you if kill... I just keep saying things, can <laughs> yeah. I get them? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you kill model battle shock test, so if you kill that devilfish, I will take a battle shock test on it. Well, um, that lone model, what a guy. I know. I know. Uh, well, what you, what you could do is so you do have your multi melta still. Yes, you I know. So I saved that. the. See? 
No, I, I was thinking of almost saving the multi melta, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's start with the multi melta. Yeah, yeah, see how see that goes. <laughs> There's two ways to look at that. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it's just one shot, so it's not. No, no, this one's two. Oh, it's a multi melta. But they hit on fours. Okay. Yeah. So multi melta going into the uh, the devilfish. Yep. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, two hits. So and its strength. No, BS four, unfortunately. Oh yeah. So rerolling yeah. for oath. Yep. There you go. So two hits. Yep. Uh, strength nine. Top is nine. So fours. Oh, melt up. But I'm re-rolling. Yeah. Because I'm an eradicator. Oh. oh. AP four. AP four. So two up, six ups. I can do sixes. Don't. No problem. <laughs> okay, not this one now. Ah, okay. No. So now I get two d six damage re-rolling damage. Yeah. Eradicators, dude. That's so good. Oh. Should I get greedy? You should get greedy. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no, no, no CP. It's the native. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's okay, fine. Okay. That's, fine. <laughs> that, that's how you know you shouldn't have re rolled it. Yeah, the fact like, that you're no. still happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grateful for that. So that's nine damage, takes me down to four on the double fish. Okay, I think I can afford, I think I can afford uh, yeah. a, a plasma at your point. I think so, I think so. <laughs> okay. Do you even spend the CP at that point? I don't want to. No, 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 no. I, yeah, okay. I have the CP. Okay, okay. okay and okay. It's, as you say, it's points. And I'm, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, fair. so here we go. The Inceptors. So it is one CP. Just make sure we got that right. Yeah. Down to two. So I should be down to two. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, so each guy has two shots. Yep. I, I should put one full Inceptor at, uh, mm -hmm. at this guy here. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. And even that's chancing it. You, you have a CP if you need it. <laughs> now, do I get the plus against him as well? Um, oh, good question. Is Let's... it per model or per unit? Well, the question is, does the strat target you or him? Yeah, because or... I have a model that's outside of 12. It's almost certainly model. Okay. The question is, does the strat target you or like one enemy? I think it's you. Vanguard, strike from the shadows. Yeah, you choose yourself. Uh, each time a model in your unit makes a range attack, the target, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's by model. Okay, so, so I'm gonna do the one model with the... his two shots exactly. at your lone breacher. Yep. So he's gonna be hitting on twos. Uh -huh. Not re-rolling anything though. Don't be double ones. Oh. Okay. Yep. And uh, then he's going to be wounding on twos. Yep, re-rolling. Re-rolling, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So one There's... at AP three, and the guardian but it goes up to matter. AP four. So he's dead. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. um, uh, I am going to just go back for a minute and do my, my hazardous test. Oh, yeah, sure. For my, my dreadnought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. Okay, so now I have ten more shots yep. at your tank, mm -hmm. hitting on twos, mm -hmm. re-rolling. Yep. So good. It's good. And then we'll do our hazardous tests afterward. Right. Okay, so we got the hits. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I just want some sustained or something. Is that too much? Uh, yes, that's too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got strength eight, uh, T9. Ooh, so five to win. Five. But re rolling, because twin links. Because twin links. <laughs> so it was three to start. Yeah, that's all right. Not too bad. And then we just need a couple more. Yeah. Uh, you, do you get saves from this? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Because we've got a two up in cover. AP3. So this is a four up. Oh, so this is AP4 right oh, now. Oh, it's AP4, so I get sixes. Yeah. So uh, I'm not technically wrong. Let's see it. These are three damage each. Yes, so too I much. So need, I need four sixes. Oh, okay. that's fine. Well, no, I thought that good enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, does it boom? Yeah. A blade, oh, oh, oh. Wounding a blade guard. No, it'll kill a blade guard. Damn. Okay. So far, so good. Now we have six hazard checks, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. Two, three, four, Each one five, is a six. dead inceptor as their pistols explode in their face. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hey, one dice. we got one. Okay. I'll take it. Beautiful. Take the one that's giving you the most line of sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Funny how that works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably just saved me Amateurs. more of them. For real. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. So far. That was great. But uh, plans, <laughs> plans going to plan. Yeah. Can we kill a Riptide? It all comes down to four ups. <sighs> um, Doesn't it always? So, Centurion Devastators. Yep. So, we've got uh, six. Six boys, mm -hmm. and they've got uh, twin last cannons each. So that's just six last cannons, right? Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. This is the uh, heavy hitting here. So hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Yep. yep. Oh, there's the two. Ah, uh, yes, I like okay. it. And uh, now we are strength 12. Toughness nine. So threes, re-rolling. Yep, because twin, twin links. links. Okay, 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 that's fine. Get the math. Math. I should get one more of these. Yeah, yep, there, there it go. is. AP enough to go to four plus involved. Yes, four up involved. So, so this is really what makes or breaks this. this. Is it. Four is all. Either day. this goes against you or for you. And I'm not going to roll them one at a time because it'd be too strong. Fours. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh, but this one's a four. Fifty-fifty. It's, 50. it's one of. Oh, oh no. It went against you. Oh, it sucks. Okay, so it's d6. Mm -hmm. They're just d6, right? Plus one, my friend. They are plus one. 
about 14 wounds. It's a lot of wounds, but uh, it's a lot of damage. So much damage. And then I do have rocket launchers. And they're they're decent too. What's the strength? Uh, the cast, Centurion missile launchers. They're strength nine. So you're T what? Nine. Okay, and then D3 damage. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, uh, you know what? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so I'll spend a CP to uh, do a four plus reroll. This has never gone wrong ever. Yeah, oh, that was big. I like that. That's that's important. Without that, you were totally dead. Exactly, 100%. Now you've got a chance. Exactly. Yeah, I'm into okay. it. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Um, I feel like the Riptides, you know, when we talk about command reroll, mm -hmm. that's the only place you need it for the rest of the game. It, it really is. It really uh, is. So yeah. that might even be the place to, uh, oh, to, to, do to, you, to do the vex. Oh, yeah. Would you like to? I think so. I think, especially where you're playing, my ability yeah. to get within nine for the extra yeah. AP is, is very reduced. Exactly. Cool. So and now, I can always cancel that with uh, minus one AP in a way. It's like, so I'm just going to use that ability, command reroll, cost next two now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So damage. 2d6 damage, and I still have a command reroll. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 I did No way! That just... One shot at him. <laughs> oh. Is that what he has? 12? Uh, no, plus 2. 14. Oh, 14. Ah, what? Okay. How? How? <laughs> Does he blow up? Please don't. <laughs> Please. Oh. <laughs> at least just like let him times. die with some dignity. I know. <laughs> This oh, is dark. I don't feel too good. Those la like lasers just went right through his like eye holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he oh. blocked one with like his like shield, and then yeah. he's just cut in half. Exactly. He doesn't realize it. <laughs> it, was, it was the standard slice yeah. where it was like, and then it like slides. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, okay. No way. Wow. Now okay. I don't get to shoot my missile launcher. I feel for oh, you. Oh, poor so Brian. <laughs> Tough life. <laughs> uh, so literally, <gasps> the entire turn went to plan. I was perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's Both theoretical up. and practical, <laughs> as right. the Ultramarines would say. Jesus. So you secured No Man's Lane by holding, uh, no, that's my secondary. So yeah. You extended battle lines. Right over here. Yep. yep, for five points. And you deployed homers in the middle for three points. That's correct. Putting points on the board, it is a tie game going into the top Whoa. three. This is good. We're like evenly, it. too evenly I'm matched. Afraid. I'm afraid. God, if I just didn't lose that Riptide, because he also ignores negative modifiers. So it would be fantastic back into your Centurions. Yes. Four damage cannon with lots of AP. Perfect. Oh, amazing. You couldn't have asked for better. Right? Yeah. Um, but that's not what happened. So we're going to get some cards. Let's get them. And we're going to see what's going on because it's carry on time, baby. Let's you go. are going to no prisoners and capture Ooh. enemy outposts. Okay. Time uh, to get moving. Gosh darn it. I. Mm, <laughs> okay. So uh, no prisoners, same as you got before. Yeah. Two points for every unit I kill, up to five. Capture enemy outposts, take your home base. Yeah. You Which, don't have anything queued up to do it. I don't. Unfortunately, yeah. um, again, because of your, your firepower, I didn't have a devilfish that was ready to dive in. Because that's totally. usually their role. Yeah. Um, having said that... Is well, now the time to, to bin it? Is now the time to bin it. Because if you're pushing up, you might as well get points for it. I think I will. I... Yeah. Spend me a CP. Get rid of capturing any outposts. Not happening. We're playing. We're not going to capture any outposts. We are going to behind enemy lines. That's you know what a little bit better, and I'll take it. So. You can do it though. It's one hundred percent possible. Because it's right. It's here, right? Yeah. So we can bring. So even just like a piranha. A piranha can get me three. I could sacrifice on va in the back to get me more. Yeah. Uh, and he and on va, on va, on va is lone op. Mm -hmm. So in the back corner is not really where you want to be anyways. Yeah. So that can potentially score me more later on. Great. So perfect. I love it. Thank you, Mel. Appreciate it. Uh, Battle shock. We are good because everyone's either dead or fine. And primary, primary. I'm holding one, holding two for ten points, and that is gonna do it. Oh, just briefly, carry on yeah. for those of you who aren't familiar. I'm gonna get sustained uh, with my shooting attacks. If I have a marker light, it's sustained two. Yeah, fantastic, excellent. With that, uh, I'm gonna get moving, and we have meme of the week. Meme of the, meme week. Of the week. Let's do it. Oh, it was a good meme of the week, my friends. So this is like a old school paper meme that uh, Fugs went in, and I think it fixed by adding our painterly Adrian. Where is this? This is So this is Shane's wedding invitation. That's over on the fridge right now. It's on the fridge, so I, okay. So this is Shane's wedding invite. I fixed it, because, uh, yeah, I fixed it. I put myself as the bride, and Bridger uh, being upset in the corner, and I sent, I sent that to the meme channel. So that's my submission for meme of the week, but then Fugs was like, I fixed your fix to the wedding invite. Amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you want to see these memes real time, where would you go? Oh, you can go to our Discord. We do have a link in the description down below. 
and there is a ton of fun stuff happening there. Absolutely. A really active community. Highly recommend it. A lot of these are in the premium memes, oh. so we do have members channels if you're a member. Mm -hmm. Another good reason to become a member. A huge, I, I would become a member one of the for best. the memes. Absolutely. Right? So we cool. then have this one, this beautiful half of the new Amazon show budget already spent on miniatures. <laughs> yeah. So true. <laughs> so At least true. half. He's like, we need these. It's important. Yeah, it's market research. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is how I feel we are with all of our budgets, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's all research, man. All research. Right. Totally. It's all good stuff. We then have Priming with Priming Leva and his 100 Thin Coats method. <laughs> One, I can't believe he still uses Rattle Can to prime. That's crazy. Why? Yeah, Brian Leva is a Rattle Can like, only user for priming. Oh, he doesn't prime airbrush. He doesn't prime airbrush. Why? It's crazy to me. Crazy. I, I only prime Rattle Can um, as well. And You're an uh, animal. I love Rattle Can priming. Oh. I think oh, it's great. I hate it. I think it's great. Oh my gosh. Um, you use GW ones? I do. Yeah, They're yeah. really expensive and really nice. That is, both of those things are true. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and so uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it works for me. I'm into it. The thing is I have an airbrush, but I don't have it set up permanently that I can turn it on at any time. Mm. I kind of have to set it up. Right. And then um, I, you know, I have to like open my windows and get some ventilation going or whatever. Yeah. And if I'm going to be priming a whole army, it's a lot of paint I'm putting through it. Yeah. Um, and so I would just prefer to go outside and just rattle can it. Wow, going outside is messed up. I know. It's like I hate the outside. Yeah, the worst. <laughs> we have this one. This is fine. This is how I feel Adrian felt all week about painting his old world army. Oh man. It's like how, how much do you have left to do? So I bit the bullet and I did like all the infantry is like basically done. Okay. So it's just the fun units at this point. And I have to build a couple characters. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Yeah, because <laughs> our first game on Monday is going to be my high elves against uh, Adrian's Tomb Kings. Yeah. And we've both been just building this army fresh oh my since gosh. January. Yeah, we have all new stuff, right? Yeah. So it's been a lot of work. It's going to be so cool. Uh, yeah, we have a whole hobby play day on Sunday. Looking forward to it. Yeah, all right. of Sunday we've got like our whole friend crew coming. Um, and we're just going to play Old World all day. I so we'll it. have like a couple tables. We'll have... Uh, almost every faction yeah. uh, in, in the game here. Uh, so we'll, we'll have a lot of fun. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Cannot wait. So there was a whole meme epic about... Oh uh, so this is the... It all comes together in the storyboard. So the Titans of the Bahamas, the search for Brian. <laughs> oh. And so it's this whole story of like Adrian and Bridger as pirates with Brian getting... OG Brian from the Bahamas. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> they just like, I didn't even realize oh, what was. so amazing. So just good. all the faces. Oh, it's beautiful. Have you, uh, I know you guys haven't come to visit me yet, but yeah. have you been to the Bahamas before? No, never. Yeah. It's a cool we place. We're going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they actually often at the Nassau airport yeah. have a guy dressed as a pirate to greet you. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is not a real place. They seriously do that. Oh my God. That's wild. That's amazing. <laughs> We yeah. then have this beautiful trouble in pairs. I know it's a magic card. It's not magic on the channel, yeah, though. Don't come down. It's, it's just, not magic. It's, it's just, fine. It's just a meme. They don't like magic. I didn't. <laughs> this is the first time I've come in a little while that I didn't yeah. bring any magic cards with me. <gasps> what? I brought Old World. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, we're, we're going to be busy. Old World. We're going to be busy. I don't got time for magic. No, no. <laughs> well, you almost didn't bring Old World because that was the one suitcase. Oh yeah, God. that's exactly right. So uh, my, my suitcase, I wanted to, I just made this army, right? I worked so hard on it. I packed it up. And I was thinking, okay, I want to fit in a carry-on so nothing had happened to it, but yeah. it was just too many models and the boxes I had wouldn't fit. So it was like, okay, I'll, I'll put it in this one suitcase. You know, it, it, it's going to be fine. And they, they weren't able to deliver that suitcase. Um, and so they were like, oh, yeah, it's, it didn't arrive. Maybe it'll come on another flight. And I didn't know what to expect. And I'm so lucky it just arrived this morning intact. Oh. All the models were fine. Like two models fell off their base, so everything's fine. That's terrifying. Yeah, it, I, I was very worried. I usually, well, that's not, I usually do carry on for my armies if I can. I always do carry on for yeah, my armies, pretty it's much. Yeah, it's so spooky. Yeah, you're it's asking, not even, and it's, even if it's late, you just miss the event. Exactly, exactly. Breakages aren't even my biggest concern. It's yeah. just the thing just doesn't show up. Exactly. It's terrifying. We also have this lovely one of Adrian <laughs> taking the first dance of Lady Bridgerton. 
<laughs> oh, Amazing. oh my uh, god. I just did that on the spot. Oh, that's so oh good. Oh my god, that's Love so it. good. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, it's the best. Then we, have... we need more Lady Bridgerton. Memes. Yes, we, we do, do need, need more. If you're looking Lady for Bridgerton. meme inspiration, Lady Bridgerton. Oh my god, Lady Bridgerton is so yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rich vein. Wow. Of yeah. meme. For all of you who played the sports ball or watched the sports ball this weekend, <laughs> look at Liam. Look Liam at him. could totally be. A little. Yeah, yeah. Little. Oh, Liam could play sports ball. Yeah. <laughs> Liam loves fo uh, football. He's always telling us about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't know they were such big fans of it. Yeah, over they there. really like football over there. It's kind of weird. <laughs> and then Adrian, Night Shields! Andy, you have to yell Night Shields! Night Shields! <laughs> yes. Dude, I'm so happy oh, that Oh, that just traumatizes me. <laughs> Yelling Night Shields right? against my towel. Yes. Works every time, oh, baby. Oh, my God. Every time. And then. <laughs> Shane, please, sir, can I play a game? Shane will earn his right uh, when he's ready. When he he's started ready. playing. He went to a tournament with me last week. That's weekend. true. He played right? Knights, right? He played Knights. Uh, he's actually working on his list as a Vanguard list. Okay. Yeah, so I need to paint up some purple centurions for him. Right. Which I said I would have done by tomorrow. What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you gotta do two This games. is fine. This is this fine. Everything is fine. Remember that meme I showed earlier? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's the real state that we're actually no in. No problem at all. So this is Adrian games. currently. Oh my god, yeah. everything's fine. This is fine. Oh, uh, I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> centurions. <laughs> Although, I, I did paint these Centurions in one night. Oh, okay. Just before, okay. the night before well, the tournament. Fair, I just have to airbrush them, so it's not too bad. Yeah. I just need, like, base coats. And so. then, last one. Oh. I just thought, this is cute, and happy cute. Valentine's Day oh, from man. our Lady Bridgerton. Lady Bridgerton. Happy Valentine's Day. Lady Bridgerton. Well, yes. thanks. Oh, actually, there's one oh. more. Bonus. You will never defeat me, Mega Brian, for <laughs> I am Brian Prime. Amazing. Amazing. So good. I've never in my life had a chance to play against uh, uh, Brian Leva. Well, we got to fix that. Well, yeah. actually, it won't happen this time because he's, he's, he had a few days off and yeah. it just didn't line up. Yeah. And he doesn't play Old World yet. Yeah, exactly. Yet. I, I think he might stop by tomorrow, but we won't have the, the Brian Brian stream, which we will eventually. Yeah. Only one of them gets to keep their name. That's the, that's the exciting part. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's what's on the line <laughs> here. I'll block here. Yeah, we still need the solution. Amazing. So again, all these memes are in Discord. Definitely join it. You don't have to be a member to be a part of it. It's just an amazing community. Um, do you feel you know what you're doing? No. I, I actually basically do. Let you me explain what's going on. Yeah. So we've moved up the piranha here. We will charge Two. the remainder stuff to get beyond the three incher. But I, I wanna I wanna get keep my firepower. I want the ability to be able to spot and also the ability to be able to shoot a fusion and some seekers. Because yeah. I actually ended up keeping it. Go with a bang. Exactly. So we've got that. Um, Cyclist coming over here, try to put the hurt onto these inceptors. Which you should be able to easily wipe them. I think so. I think it'll be fantastic. We've got a spotter unit for that. Um, Riptide uh, stepping up with a heavy burst to deal with uh, intercessors. Right. And again, a spotter for that. Uh, I'm positioning this unit genuinely is an amazing solution to the Centurion. So I'm trying to get him more midfield. And without getting killed so, by the Centurion. So that no matter where I place later, yeah. you'll have an answer. I really, I didn't, I didn't realize how important it was until yeah. I killed that one. I was like, I actually really knew that. Yeah. So that's the plan there. Um, yeah, that guy was all left out all on his own. You know? I was like, ah, it's fine. I'll be safe. I uh, kind of screened out of the Inceptors, yeah. and I can make a couple four-ups, but then I yeah. didn't count on the double sixes. So. Uh, <laughs> you never count on the double sixes. Never. So just the last kind okay. of final, final touches. Um, I think we'll deal with the Incept. <sighs> I'm nervous about you sniping this one out. We're going to bring in Taking the on here. Taking the objective, you mean? Yeah, I'm yep. worried about the Inceptors like surviving somehow. Because I will have to charge here rather than here. Yep. Because if I land here, I'm still going to be within three inches. So we're not going to be tagging them up in combat. Right. My last decision, again, do I want to come out here? And do I want to put anything on at this point? I could flood it with Breachers for a turn. It's a turn of turning off your primary. So yeah, I would lose five primary. Exactly. But then I lose the unit in return. And it's like, is this the time to do it? I don't know. It's a great question. It's a, I think it's a pretty good question. Uh, my concern, if I don't go for it now, is that the Centurions will up you down and take that out next turn, and then I won't have that option. So I think, I think I'm going to go for it and try to keep suppress your points while I can. Yeah. So let's use your assets, right? Got to use your assets. So you have more units than me. That's that's uh, that's a tool you have, right? Exactly. So we're going to move ten, and we're going to move. Uh, and then the breachers are going to get out there. Exactly. Pile up onto the point. Exactly. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not cheating real quick. I like cheating. Yep, we're good. Beautiful. And then we'll pop out the breachers. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Anva! I don't know why I'm saying Anva. 
Shane. You know, who, in the name of Van Va. In the name of Van Va. Shane is uh, in chat and says, who dare summon me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shane, hey, Shane, you what's up? For, for it's, uh, Shane, are you, coming, are you coming to play some Old World tomorrow? <laughs> Actually, we'll come around this uh, way. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you were one of the people who RSVP'd to this. He is. He's coming. Uh, I think he might hobby on his Marines while we play. That's Ooh, great. Oh, Shane, you can hobby with me. I will be painting Thundercats. I think that's the goal. I am getting a phone call right now from my nephew who mm -hmm. wants to play Minecraft. Minecraft? <laughs> that sounds kind of... It's like, amazing. I don't care what you're doing right now, Uncle Brian. <laughs> yeah. Get right? on Minecraft. Minecraft. Now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, cool. This might be an unfortunate situation where until I answer, he calls 800 times. I think his, his streak is like 46 calls in a row. No. No, yeah. my God. Is yeah. your nephew Shane? <laughs> no, but he is like six. Oh, okay. So basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, cool. I think we're all done with movement. Should we get shooting? Uh, let's get to blasting. Let's get blasting. Cow face. Let's do this thing. Uh, so let's start with the, the scary one. So we're going to go ahead and spot with the tetras. All the way down. For the cold star into the uh, interceptors. 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 Yep. I know. They all have those I, names. It's, it's tough. Would you like to armor contempt? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I'm going to overcharge everything because I need to kill you. Okay, so I'm down yeah. to two CP. Beautiful. I'm not spending anything just yet. And let's do this thing. Uh, uh, yeah, great. So that's one. So I've got no cover. Um, but you and will have four ups. Yeah. Because uh, minus one AP. Which is not bad. It's great. It's fantastic. And uh, I have, do I have higher toughness on them or no? Toughness six, yeah. Uh, so, so I'll still be on threes. Yeah, but not yeah. twos. Not twos. That's definitely kind not of twos. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the uh, non-commander shots. These are going to be on throw fours. Yes. Ugh. I know. Fours with but three rolls, sustain two. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's, good. It's a lot. It's a lot of firepower. So we'll pull out fours, fives, and sixes, and the sixes will be important. Yeah. Friendly reminder to do a battle shock test for moving within range of the piranha. Dang it. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, that Twitchy. Was, that was the plan here. We need to battle shock them to see. And then I can't use my strats. Exactly. <clears throat> Thanks, Richie. Um, Twitchy. Me. And Bridgie? Twitchy. Twitchy. <clears throat> Thanks, Twitchy. <laughs> for McCrag? We're fine. Nah, you're good. Dang it. I appreciate it. Uh, and this then is your reroll? This is the reroll. Okay. Twitchy. It's good. Okay. It's very it's a good, good reroll. Right? One, two, three, four, five sixes. Okay. So ten more. Can I get five dice, please? Yeah. Holy moly. So you got all your dice plus uh, five extra? Or? Yeah. Yeah. At least. Okay. That's pretty good. And then three to wounds. Three but to no rerolls. No rerolls. So here. just all ones and twos. Yeah, no problem. I mean, this. I mean, looks looks odds. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, totally looks odds. They're just hanging out together. That's what they do. And these are two damage a piece. Yep. And I only have two wounds a piece. Yep. 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 So you got me. But yeah, uh, I think so. even if I if I. Um, get better than odds you've got me. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say so. I have to 3x odds <laughs> Don't to live. You. you wouldn't dare. Oh, I would. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you've been traumatized by me before. I know. <laughs> it looks like an odds roll, yeah, so now yeah. they're done. So uh, it's like two times over yeah, the definitely. unit dies. Okay, Yay! Got we got a hazardous and then we run away. So <laughs> How does this work with the commander who didn't shoot? Uh, the commander, he would still shoot. So he does uh, roll a hazard as well? Yeah, okay. yeah, So it's one, two, but they're not specific to him. Yeah. He's just roll for the unit. So everyone uh, is this could be scary. Is. Oh, yeah. I've lost, like, the whole squad before. <laughs> not ones. Oh. Four ones. So that's two suits. Suit, suit, and then a wounded suit. Okay. Yikes. Bloop. Bloop. That's the way it goes. You lose something or, well, you lose them all or you lose nothing. So this is actually yeah. pretty good. <laughs> so you've still got one on, on three wounds and the commander. Exactly. Is it worth fire and fading with them now? <sighs> Fantastic question. Now that uh, I think so, actually, they're that they're that strong. They're still an asset. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna spend my last two CP. Okay. And we're gonna just zip around, um, especially because we've we've reduced the thing that's the most flexible to kill them. Yeah. Right. You know? uh, 18 inches. I think you need. I think you absolutely need them. Yeah. Yeah. So that was great. I'm happy with it. Uh, so we've done that. Okay. We then have other spotters. So we'll have our Tetris. Feels kind of like a waste, but it is what it is. Yeah. They'll spot for the Riptide into the Intercessors. Yes, right. Let's boogie. Okay. All right. Um, it's been a while since I shot the Heavy Burst Cannon. Just 12 so, shots all the time. So this will be hitting on force. Exactly, yeah. Plus one, minus one. Oh, no. So the nice thing about the Riptides, as I mentioned, they ignore negative modifiers. Oh. So uh, threes. Wow. And, I love it. And, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, and the Nova Charge. I could give Devastating once per game. Then do it. Oh, this isn't the target to do it on. I don't think this is the target. Because if they don't die, it doesn't matter to you. No, and they don't have feeling pain. There's either. nothing on the line here. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. Threes, full rerolls, 
with sustained two. Amazing. So we've got two more, two more, two more. Yep, threes. So much firepower. It's and, a lot. And threes. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was kind and of. And then these are AP. These are only AP one. But the they downside. do ignore my cover. Yeah, so four. So it's uh, four FAs. And each one is two damage? Yeah. Yeah. It was a good roll. Ooh, so nice. I only lose three. Oh, okay, okay. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Um, I'll keep the sergeant. So. Sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, and then the mm. plasma. We didn't really focus on staying in range. Oh, yeah, we're good actually. So it's one twin plasma. Okay. So on a three, uh, re roll. Re roll, yep. Oh, six would have been nice. Winning on two, because strength eight. There we go. AP lots, three with ignore cover. So sixes. So sixes. Six. Okay. Beautiful. So I have just my sergeant left. Uh, that's what we like to hear. Okay. That is it for. Uh, when it comes to intercessors, five. one is about as good as five. Exactly. So. That's also true. <laughs> and I want something to charge. I was going to see either I leave him alive or I leave the intercessor alive. Yeah. I think at this point, I can try to shoot and kill uh, the eradicator and then charge the intercessor. Sure. Feels like the right move. So. Yeah. yeah, we're good. I was okay. just thinking about spotters. I don't ah, really have a spotter. For the Prana, you don't have a spotter. Exactly. No, I think that's right. Uh, so we'll put the fusion into the Eradicator. Okay. The reason I'm hesitating is because I have the secret missiles. And this time, I'm really not going to live. Yeah. Did I just like so forget put them last into the, turn? Oh, we put advanced. them into the Dreadnought. Yeah, I'll put, them in the, I'll put the two into the Dreadnought. Yeah. Just fire both. And then the fusion here and then the, the drones into here. Okay. So fusion first. Yeah. On a four. Okay. That's fine. And, and then, uh, uh, the drones. It's, uh, four shots. Sustained. Sustained, but not double. Yep. And then fives, but yep. twin linked. Twin link? Huh! One wound, just okay. one. So one wound. Yeah. And uh, so I just get my three up save. Yeah. Oh, you've done okay. a wound. One damage, I'll take it. And then two seekers into the dreadnought. We're within 12, so fours. Hup, hup, hup. Hup, hup, hup. Hup. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Strength? And strength, it's a lot. So I think it's a lot. It's threes. Okay. There we go. And it's AP two or three? Yeah, might as well confirm all this. It went it went up, I think. Seeker Missile, yeah, Strength 14, AP3. AP3, yeah. And so, D6 plus one. So um, I'm not getting cover from this? Uh, How does that work? Yeah, because this part of the model can see everything. Great. That's a save. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do, pig. <laughs> That'll do, pig. <laughs> all right. Uh, shot, 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 shot. Uh, we have Breachers and the Devilfish into the uh, Aggressors. It's not a lot, but it's, it's something. So... Is this an Armor of Contempt? For the breachers, no. No, should I? Because you have a you. You're They're only AP one now. It's only AP one. Yeah, yeah. They don't have the super AP. I could I could give it the extra AP, but because I'm the active player, I can have you choose first. So, let's see. And then there's the awkwardness of like only one can spot. So do I want the spotter on the breachers, or for the secret missiles? I see. Um. Oh, I, mean, I have no CP, so I actually. Yeah. Uh, I spent both of mine. Yeah. Now. So we're not going to get extra AP, which means you'll still have three ups, which means yeah, I will I... spot for the Seeker Missiles. Okay. Yeah. So I know I will Armor And then contempt. you will Armor Contempt. Yeah. Perfect. So that's one CP there, Mel. So Beautiful. I'm down to one. Adrian's at zero. Perfect. All right, we did it. So Devilfish, uh, both Seeker Missiles. Uh, let me make sure they do have two. Yep, they start with two. So threes, because we're spotting, and yeah. we're within 12. Huh. Okay, good. Nice, good, good. And uh, this should be twos? Uh, twos, yes. Oh. oh. No! Okay, and it's AP a bunch. AP, yeah, three. You good? So it goes down to AP two. No cover, yeah. Uh, and so I have a five up save. Yeah, we did it. Oh, oh. and uh, D six plus one. D six. So okay. anything but a one. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> okay, so you did kill one. We got one aggressor. Beautiful. Great. Uh, and then we have the twin pulse carbines next. Uh, again, just two drones in this case. Totally. Hang uh, on threes. Threes. And then no re rolls. Yeah. Whoa. No sustained. And fives twin linked. Twin linked. Just and then one. this is a three up save for me. Yep. Okay, good. Solid. And then the uh, burst cannon. Burst cannon. That was the word. Yep. How many shots of burst cannon? Half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it used to be eight, right? Or this is it six? No, it was four. It was four. Well, it's still four. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Threes. Uh, and then sustained. And sustained. <laughs> oh, Strength? double because we have a marker light. Strength six. So fours. Okay. And no twin link. There we go. No AP. And no AP. So three. three up saves. Yeah. Okay, good. we're good. Glad, glad we did all that. So now we have the breachers. Now the breachers. Cool. So which is going to be just twenty shots. Just twenty. Yeah, just casual twenty. They are rerolling all wounds because you're on an objective. Yeah. Five, Ten. But no pluses to hit here. Fifteen. Correct. Twenty. 
Uh, yeah, no pluses to hit, so just fours sustained. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Fours sustained! Objection denied. And it's sustained one because no marker light. What a shame. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been a lot more hits. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And fives here, twin links. It's not twin link, re-rolling. Close enough. Close enough. Someone in the comment section will. Yeah. These are for you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Very generous. And these we re-roll. <laughs> nice. Uh, that was more. good. Right? I'm into it. And uh, this is AP1? Uh, AP1, but you armor contempt, so you get your threes. Three up saves. I think you'll kill one. I think so. I feel I feel fine. You kill one. Perfect. Exactly. Oh. You gave me that one. It Adrian, felt like one. Can yeah. you I confirm can... what breachers hit on? Fours? They hit on threes natively, I think. Oh, okay. And then it goes down to twos. Uh, a little self nerf. If I lose, that's why. <laughs> uh, uh, so we're done there, we're done there. And I think that is all she wrote shooting wise. Charging. On Buzz just hiding in the back. The piranha! Now, when you charge, I can do a thing where I move? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I totally remembered this. <laughs> so um, it's move d6 inches. So who are you charging first of all? If you charge both, I then I can't. I don't think they read the FAQ'd this that I get to redeclare. Chat, let us know if we get this wrong. Uh, and what that means is I don't want to split because if you make one run away. Oh, then you fail no matter fail what. Fail no matter what. Okay. So you pick a target then. Um, oh, I know what you can do. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick the intercessor. You're gonna pick the intercessor. I think because I think. Yeah. Thirty-three. Oh, uh, we could do the right. <laughs> because I can move towards you, so that when you. The problem I, is, I think you're gonna do that no matter what. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the intercessor. Yeah. So you're picking yeah. the further away model. The further away model. Yeah. Uh, and then, would you like to run away d6 inches? Yeah. So. Um, this is where the battle shock would have been good too. Yeah. Exactly. On a different unit. <laughs> so um, you have to be wholly outside of. Three. Three. Yeah, yeah. So here's the the 33. <laughs> Curse you. So I only need to move three inches. <laughs> if I move three, no. If I move, so I need to move four inches. Because I can charge on the other, other side. Other side. Right, right, right. So but depending four. on what I roll, I can go yeah, one yeah. direction or another. Okay. Very so we'll do it. It's one CP. Cool. One CP. So I think I'm down to zero. Uh, and then I roll yep. d6 inches and I move that. All right, let's see it. Oh, oh God. God! So both directions are now interesting. They're both great. Because um, if I go through the wall, you can't go through the wall. If you're beyond an inch, yeah. No! <laughs> um, some clarification from Kat, uh, chat. Yeah. You do not get to redeclare, and if he stays within 12 inches, Adrian has to roll the charge. Yep, cool. Okay, so no cars right. going around in circle. Oh, sorry, different thing. <laughs> what is it? Me, me and Minnie Ma are having a different conversation. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, excellent. All right, excellent. cool. Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. That was my I, When they originally wrote it, I knew they didn't FAQ it, and I, hadn't think that, I didn't think they had yet. So, yeah, either way, I can get beyond the wall or I can get forward. Mm -hmm. um, if I have you fail the charge, there's no advantage. Having you out here is Either way, you're just going to be standing here. Either way, I'm just standing there. <laughs> it's all the same. Uh, and you're not going to really fight me. This is maybe a bit better because yeah. you'd be able to do actions. Fall back and do actions. Stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so right. So I could be advantage. in this corner or something. You're yeah. right. Okay. So that's the way to do it. Cool, cool. Okay. Beautiful. So what he's done is he's moved beyond an inch of the wall, which means I can't reach him, which means uh, the charge will fail automatically. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. Um, and I like it. It's like so subtle, right? That's going to be it for charges then. And we can score it up. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So. No prisoners. We killed. Uh, oh, oh, one model, away. One model on two units. That was a reason to to not go into the dread. That's true. But oh. you did kill the entire plasma squad. Yep. So just two points on no prisoners. Yeah. Three points on behind enemy lines because Anva, the super secret agent in the back. That's right. And then he'll be, he'll be in the very back corner. I just don't want to have him fall off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but he's back there. Yeah. He's all the way back there. Uh, we'll see. This is getting spicy. That was a bit of a swing. Uh, do you want to pick up? Anything. I was hoping that I would have had enough to move on to this point. That would have been so been saucy, <laughs> right? The worst. As you can see how this is such a strong and fun army to play. Very cool. Um, All right. Um, yeah, do you want to up downy? Yes. I guess just uh, Calidus? Just the Calidus. I have no CP, which is actually a big swing to use that last CP. Oh, that is true, actually. Right? Yeah, because right. now I'm out of position with these. Yeah. Um, that buys me some time. Uh, it does. So, uh, where is my Calidus? Right here. Mm -hmm. So, back into my hand. There she goes. Okay. Passing over to the Ultramarines, bottom three. Okay. So, uh, CP? That's, yeah, CP, I need it. And cards. And uh, let's start with uh, two cards. What do you got? You got some for me? Sounds like a light bulb. I'm surprised. 
I don't, <laughs> chat hasn't said anything. Okay. I just remembered a huge thing for you. Ooh. I'm, you're, it'll be good if I'm right. Nice. Yeah. Kalgar gives you CP every single turn. So oh. turn one, turn two, not turn three. So you will have two CP. Oh, okay. Which means if you want to up you down, you can. And I will. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, how many CP should I be at now? Uh, so you'll, you would be at three. You're going to be down to two. Okay. Right. Perfect. Kalgar, right. Take that, chat. Because he's just sitting there in the corner. Yeah, yeah. You he's know, a crunching numbers. Genius. Okay, so the, yeah. the these come back into my hand. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I I honestly totally forgot he was even sitting there. <laughs> Me too. Because he was just. Uh, he's always plotting, though. He's always know. plotting. Yeah. He's always schemes on schemes. Being an accountant. All right. Uh, that, that's that's great. Uh, thank you. Of course. Okay, so let's start with some cards. Let's see what you got. That's it. That's it. You've got bring it down and capture enemy outpost. Okay. Okay, so capture enemy is just not a thing. Yeah. Uh, but bring it down. There's plenty. There's so uh, many. uh This is a vehicle. That's a vehicle, and the the devilfish do have thirteen wounds, so they're worth three base each. Yeah, and it's right there to just punch Amazing. with my fist. Yeah, and you can get up to eight. So, so if you did that with three, this is two. So that's already pretty good. That'll take you to seven for killing those two. Yeah, and uh, the tetras I are not that exciting. E oh, they are technically vehicles. Yeah. But yeah. Um, um, okay. So bring it down's easy, uh, but capture enemy outpost just, just yeah. not happening. Um, so that one might be worth pitching at this point. This I do have turn. the CP. So I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You then. do have the CP. So I'll spend one and I'll redraw capture enemy okay. outpost. Okay. Instead of capture, you have. Behind enemy lines. I feel like we just did this in Adrian's turn. We did. But, um... It's not impossible, but it's uh, not great. No, it is impossible. You could, you could yeet Blade Guard in? Because... Uh, you'd have uh, to charge here. Which, okay. It's I mean, terrible. that's not actually crazy. It was a fear when I moved back here. That was yeah. the only thing I'm, I was really worried about. Okay, I'll keep it. And, and you have a guy that was wounded. I do. So you could just go down to that commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is nice. Because then he also stops leading them, which means I think the advance goes away. Some of the... One yeah. of the bonuses okay. goes away. Well, that's, that's, the, that's, that's what it is. I do have some battle shocks. Yeah, totally. So, uh, not that it matters. I know. <laughs> uh, I have a lone intercessor here. Yes. He lost his squad, but, you know, again, duty and honor. Right. Oh. Oh. That's a fail. No, you're good. You want high. You want high. Oh, what? You want to roll Oh, high. my God. I have no idea what... <laughs> I'm, thinking. I'm thinking of the last edition. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Uh, I have my... Uh, my lone aggressor. Eradicate. Eradicator, yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, he had already lost his squad. Uh, yeah, but you keep testing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, easy peasy. You got uh, 10 points on primary for holding two. No, um, only holding one. Or, oh, sorry. That or was did, the whole point. Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got three guys with OC2 on it. Yeah. And I've just got a, uh, three guys with OC1 on it. Yeah. Because Calgar's OC1, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could probably put a couple, a little bit more. Yeah, let's just, just say you did it. Yeah, that is just shut it off. Yeah. Um, so my bad. Five points for primary. For five points. Uh, that was Brian. the whole point of that. That was the entire play. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I think we did it. Yes. Let's get to moving. And Excellent. See what we're Big do. thanks to Blackbird for gifting five tabletop memberships. Oh, thank you, Blackbird. Really appreciate it. If anybody wants to support the channel, this is a great way to do it. Uh, of course, this is what lets us do everything you see here. It lets us get new terrain, new models. We're updating a number of different armies right now. Um, I've been updating things like the, the Grey Knights, the Thousand Suns, looking at Guard as well. So all of these uh, memberships help us do that. And you also get other people access to our members' content, which we have a ton going on. We have our Tuesday game. We have our Thursday hobby stream. We have behind the scenes. We have another video coming out tomorrow, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so there's just more members content literally than we've ever done before So never been a better time to become a member or gift Absolutely. a membership and and as time goes on You know more and more it's it's memberships that keep this business going hundred percent right the membership 100%. is if you like these videos You watch them you get value out of them mm -hmm. consider being a member because that's that's what allows us to do this Yeah, exactly um, and every year we do this it legitimately becomes so much more expensive to do it <laughs> Yeah, it really, really um, does you know our we have a big studio, rent goes up, you know, mm -hmm. we have a whole staff of people now who depend on this, so yep. it, it, it's really appreciated. Absolutely. So thank you, everybody. Thanks so much. And speaking of, thank you, 95 Ginger Rage, for Hi. gifting five tabletop oh, memberships. what's up, Ginger Rage, one of our own emperors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big appreciate. Thank you very much. What's everyone working on today? Uh, there's, uh, Higgy Beans is working on some Neon Tron-like Tau. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, you are. Looks. Um. I. Uh, I just. 
the uh, they posted in Discord and so excited about Ooh, it. I'll check it out. Um, people are saying that Brian, you're underpowered right now because you don't have a sweater or a cardigan on. Yeah, yeah, he's not allowed. He My just... yeah, I uh, the sweaters I brought. I'm actually later in the week. I'm I'm gonna take my daughter snowboarding. And all the sweaters I brought are like really warm. <laughs> and I was afraid that I was just gonna like die. We should get some studio sweaters for Brian. Yeah, we have his, oh dude, we have your ultramarine one. I think we, we actually have the ultramarine one, yeah. But it's also pretty heavy. It's a and lot. it's a Christmas jumper. Yeah, 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 it absolutely is. Jumper. Well, much love. We are at 16 new members for today. Maybe we can hit 25. I'd love to hit 25. Well, as I say it, Praskadash, thank you so much hey. for the five tabletop memberships. Praskadash, what is up? Thank you Another so emperor. much. Everyone's so kind. We appreciate that support. <coughs> and Snip Snap, um, Robert Mills, who I've been chatting with in chat about how much fun I'm having playing my Awoos. Awoos. Which will be on the channel on Saturday. Does the ghost kill fall back and shoot? Uh, it does, yeah. Okay. Got that support system. I need a three inch advance to take your objective from you. Okay, you want to do a, on the table right here? Um, so I'll consider doing it with okay. these guys here. Yeah, yeah. Looking for a three. Okay. That's a six. The question is, is now the right time to throw them away? Right. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're playing a points game. Mm, always, always, so. always. Much love to Hamsterdam for the super chat. Hey, Titans. Awesome hey. to see Brian back on the channel. I collect 40K, AOS, and Legion. Started during COVID. Don't have nostalgia to collect old models. New modern sculpts would be much more tempting. <laughs> well, and you can do that with the legacy armies. Uh, like I'm my now that my halves are done, I've started into vampire counts, oh. and you could just use all the new soulblight grave lords, which is what I'm doing. Yeah. And uh, uh, Seraphon, new the new kits look amazing. Um, uh, goblins and. Uh, so many good you goblins. Know, so many good goblins. Oh my stuff. gosh! The, you can actually have good-looking mangler squigs for the first time, which is fantastic. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I highly encourage you to, if you're interested, don't let the model stop you. It's a fun, different format. There's always different games and stuff coming out. But one of the reasons that we're particularly excited about this is because it's so different. You know, yeah. it's not just like another 40k or another Sigmar. It doesn't really compare to the other games. So that's fun. It keeps it keeps it unique. You know. Exactly. Thanks, Amsterdam. I don't know what to do with this Calidus. I can put a Flamer in on those Breachers, but I feel like I already have so many shots over there that's right. good against them. Yeah. Um, that it seems overkill. Uh, none of my secondaries require it, right? So remind yeah. me, I'm just trying to take the, the vehicles down. She's not going to help me take a vehicle down. Yeah, and then behind me lines, which Which I've charge. got the charge over there. I could maybe position her for a charge behind enemy lines as well, but yeah. not... That would be the thing to try for. Um, but not really. There isn't a good spot. Not to particularly. Drop. You have bottom of the last turn. Mm, the only the re remaining secondary that you might want to get in the backfield for is investigate signals. Yeah. But unless Dark Strider gets removed, it's yeah, not really it's just a thing. it's just too much. Like, see, there's just too much screening here. Yeah. You know? So there's it's just not going to happen. You're just chilling out. I could put her in and try to give the nine inch charge also at your commander. Um, True. Uh, which is plausible. Thank you. What does that look like? And Thanks. that flamer, because the commander is the one in the front. Yep. So, I mean, it is totally possible, but then the Kalidus just dies. Yeah, she's not amazing. She's still winning him on. But she has five. she has multiple damage and. Yeah, that's true. She's mostly anti-infantry, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just think she might not be doing much. No, I think I just keep. Secondaries. I could take a. I, I can't kill on Vaughn combat, right? Uh, it's not likely. And, and if I'm outside of nine. Can I, what's the range for? Uh, it's 12. So you can totally come down and okay, shoot Okay, so I'll just come down and, yeah. plink and plink. The only downside is if I charge you, you can't up you downy. If you're in an engagement range. Understood. So, yeah. Well, then that's what we'll do. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Amon, for the super chat that just says, Brian! That is Hello. all. Hello. That is all. Uh, glad uh, you're as excited as I am to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amon, appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Robert Mills, for the super chat that just says, ooh! Hey, what the heck? Thank yeah. for Saturday. Nah, Get there's a woos every day. Wow. All Always day, every day. Time for an a woo. Thank Awoos. you so much, Seedroots, for the five memberships, which I believe puts us at 26. Oh my God, we, we did, did it. it immediately. And we didn't even need Daddy McArdle. I know. 
I don't know. What's up with that, John? Is Daddy huh? okay? <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's been super busy. I was talking to him yesterday. Excellent. Good. I'm glad. He's um, he's just very busy at work right now. So. Honestly, I have no idea what to do with the Centurions. So I can bring them down back where they were. <laughs> right. Uh, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And I can just kill some Tetras for points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There, um, yeah. There, there, there is a spot in here where I can lose my Centurions. Oh, I like that. Right? Yeah. And maybe kill one thing. Right. But then definitely 100% lose them without yeah. you even moving. Yeah, exactly. Right? So that seems insane. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, and then otherwise, yeah, just coming here, is it? Like I can maybe take this one and those at the same time. I think that's fine because play for the points, you know, especially yeah. over here if you're not going to be killing the Devilfish. Like this is, as I said, two points. These yeah. are actually two points each. Yeah. So it lets you score those points without overextending yourself, which is kind of the name of the game with this list, I think. So, and uh, how far does the fusion guy move? Eat uh, the fusion guy. Sorry, the fusion. Uh, uh, the riptide. Uh, sorry, the ion riptide. Uh, let me double check. Ten, yeah. Ten. John okay, is actually so. at battle to end Alzheimer's. He okay. gave Melody a drive up. Okay. Oh, nice. Hi, Willow. Because it's in Maryland. My dad should be there. Ugh. The uh, tables and towers, which is a really cool store. Yeah. Yeah. No, why isn't your dad there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Thank you, Caldor, for the super chat. Always fun to see OG Brian back on stream with Adrian. I am on Team Rattlecan and was shown a three-color Rattlecan method for Deathwing totally. that blew my mind last week. Uh, Chise Skaven for uh, Old World was cheapest in. Oh, interesting. What it, uh, C-H-I-S-E? C-H-I-S-E Skaven. C H I S E. Yeah, cheese. Che cheese. Like There's cheese with an I. Well, like, are they trying to say one of the clans, like Eshin or? Right. Like, I know Calder said typing on a mobile is hard. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like it. Uh, that sounds cool though. I'm, I, I like it. I'm trying to decide if I want to try to Overwatch you here. I'm a little, yeah. You have. I have a lot on the point. Oh no, but they're only OC one these days. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because they're not. And what's your OC? That's a great question. Ghost kill ah. is three. So we need to kill three. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. I think <laughs> I need to try. Same reason I took that. I need this. This is totally worth it for you. Let's go. I'm gonna spend my one. If I do this, I'm not striking and fading. But I think that bridge. That I think that's already passed. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spend it to Overwatch here with the Riptide. With the Riptide. With okay. the damage two, which is the best thing against you. Yeah. Um. Did we hear find out what cheat? Yes, is? I chose. I chose oh. Skaven. <laughs> or like, what kind of clan is this? Uh, we were yeah. so fascinated. Yeah, so Skaven they chose so cool. Skaven for the yeah, old We'll world. definitely get them together as well. There was um, a question about who's playing what on in Old World among us. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing Toon Kings, uh, and I will do Orcs and Goblins as soon as I finish with this, which is very soon, because they're also the next army, which... Right. <laughs> Bridger is currently painting his uh, um, dwarves. Yep, and then he's also very excited about Bretonians, although I also know that... I, I am too, but that's fine. Yeah, you know. he has a passion for Bretonians I never expected to see. Yeah, great army. Yeah. Uh, so high elves uh, are my first mm. that I've brought here. Um, I'm definitely going to have Seraphon or yep. Lizardmen, as they're called here. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing another uh, vampire counts. Yeah, which is going to be awesome. Um, I will be doing uh, wood elves as well. Oh, the wood elves are so cool. Uh, so oh. really, really excited for that. Yeah. Brian uh, is doing Beasts of Chaos. Amazing faction. Uh, it's going to be pretty much all 3D prints. Because um, Beastiarium Minis has amazing Beastmen. Yeah, yeah. It's, they look great. So, uh, and I'll eventually I'll do a Dark Elves. Uh, but I need yeah. to wait till the models are a little more purchasable. So right. when they, maybe when they release the supplement for that. Yeah. Um, so I'll have all three of the Elves. Um, so you're going to just go, you're, you're going to like one at a time. Yeah, them all I would have been doing more if actually <laughs> other people hadn't already claimed them. So if Bridger hadn't done Dwarves, yeah. I would have commissioned Dwarves. Oh, that's right. And if that. we hadn't done Bretonians, I would have commissioned Bretonians. Because yeah. yeah. those two are armies I'm really into. So cool. Um, so we won't... Uh, I'm also going to do a Warriors of Chaos using the new yes. Warriors of Chaos oh, models. Oh, the Chaos is so cool. Um, but I'll do that after my Vampire Counts. Oh, yeah. So that'll be in two armies? Yeah. I like it. Uh, so we've got Riptide going into <laughs> the Infiltrators. We are on sixes, <laughs> but we are sustained. Okay. So here we go. Should get I'm supposed to get two. <laughs> hey, cool. So two turns into four. Okay, beautiful. And then winning on threes. Here's the hard part. Threes. Huh. Oh, I like it. AP one, uh, and then no cover because we can see the whole unit. So fours. Ah, 
Oh. Okay, well you got the plasma. Yep. Uh, two damage. Oh, you just need a six. Yep. Uh, no. Oh, well, I got the helix gauntlet. And then helix gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And the plasma. No problem. I actually can't kill enough now, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, hits. Nope. 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 That's it. So one died. One died. Bleep bloop. It was worth a shot. It was definitely worth twelve shots. Because it's a big swing. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Um. So let's get to blasting. Mm. So we've got an eradicator into your lone uh, piranha oh, here. You wouldn't dare. I stood still. You did. So threes. Threes. Okay. Two shots on threes. And I do reroll. You too. Oh, I, did I pick an oath target? No, no. Where do you want to go? It, it's uh, the um, the devilfish. Beautiful. Yeah. Two rerolls. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is threes to win. Yeah, threes. Oh, oh hey. no. He's, he's put these rerolls to he's work. Like, hold on, hold on. Hold let, me, on. Let, me, let me just. Hey, there okay. it is. Uh, uh, AP lots. So straight through. D6 plus two. And what's your. Or uh, at least plus two. Seven wounds. Okay. It that's eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Big boom. Let's go. Ha! No. Okay. Australian one. Australian six. So I have uh, three eradicators, or sorry, uh, devastators. They can go into your tank. Yep. And then three that can go downfield at your piranhas. Fantastic. Do you want to do strike from the shadows for extra BS, AP, and battle shock? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Because uh, <laughs> I'll get a CP next turn anyways yeah. to do the uppy downy. So, uh, but then, do I need an oath? No, not really, because you're not going to be able to shoot me almost anywhere. <gasps> True. Right. Um, so one CP there. Okay, so here I am, the three last cannons going downfield, uh -huh. hitting on twos. Yep. Rerolling ones, but it's okay. Beautiful. Uh, piranhas are toughness, uh, what? Ooh. Probably threes, but to wound, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Probably threes, but you never know. You never know. I know their strength <clears> is two. <throat> They've got to be higher than T6. Seven to seven. Yeah. Okay, so three's to one. And there's seven wounds. But well, that's why they're worth points, too. Yeah. So. Okay. So re-rolling to wounds. Two linked. Because twin links. Beautiful. So there's three at AP4. AP4. Uh, do, am I even getting cover? I guess I can do this guy for cover. So six is... I gotta do one at a time. Because then I'm losing cover. Six! Okay, so if you kill the first one... <laughs> D6 plus one damage. So three, and then... Okay, so he's taken three. He's got four wounds left. Dead. Okay. Another one goes straight through because no more cover for me. And a six would kill both. Oh, okay. five. Down to two. So, uh, okay, now I've got my missile launchers, 3d3. You got it. So it's three, four, five, six. Mm hmm. So six. Hitting on twos. You got it. Okay, and this one is strength nine. So threes, two wounds. Thank you. You got it. No problem. Okay. And it's not, uh, uh... Not twin links. So, AP3. Ah, no problem. Huh! He's dead. <laughs> okay. Now, my Tetras! Now I have three of them into the, uh, the Devilfish. You got it. Uh, Over this is the last cannons, hitting on twos. You got it. Wounding on threes. Yep. Twin uh, links? Rerolling for twin links. Oh, my God. Okay. Whoa. AP, AP four. four. Uh, three, four. No, straight through. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So three d six plus three. Yeah. Three. Eight, yeah. nine, ten, thirteen. That's exactly. That's exactly. Big boom. No. Sorry, Mel. Trying. Devil fish. Oh, sorry. If you don't, I didn't move these guys. Yeah, feel free. <laughs> uh -huh. They were supposed to just have line of sight. Beautiful. Hmm. A lot of shooting coming from these space marines. Yeah, exactly. The the tower the tower aren't even mad. I know. Yeah, they're they're in front. They're taking notes. Exactly. Can't even be upset at that. What are you talking about? Um, okay, so we're gonna put uh, everything from the um, uh, aggressor squad yep. into your breachers. Let's do this thing. And uh, let's go. Let's aggressors. So <laughs> yeah. I I did lose one, right? So I only have one, two, three, yeah. four. No, I, got I lost two. two. Yeah. So I only, I only have four. Mm. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Okay. Beautiful. So hitting here on threes. Yep. And um, lethal. Wow. Okay. Oh, we're we'll that super cock dice. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so lethal on sixes from the biologist. Uh, uh, and then you had uh, uh, <laughs> take grab three. <laughs> oh, I thought. Okay, I thought those were misses. Sorry. Was it? Oh yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, threes to wounds and twin links. Uh, threes. I'm. I'm. My brain broke. Yeah, you good. Got it. Okay. There you go. 
No AP. I was thinking there you had rerolls. That's what it was. Uh, AP one because it's the cl I'm, I'm close to you. Yeah, right. That's correct. So fives. Hup 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 hup. So we lose four. Okay. Down to six. Okay, and then we have the Fragstorm grenade from four of them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is uh, blast, so it's D6, and you are a full squad, so it's D6 plus two each. Yeah. <laughs> so that's eight more on top of this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus. So, yeah, 10, 16, 17, 25. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, I got seven, 10 eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 26. 25. So. And then this one's threes to hit. Yep. Lethal on sixes. Yep. Wow. I'll take out the ones and twos. Not. Cool. And then uh, this one is threes to wound. Yep. And uh, AP one for the nearest. I flipped that one. Yeah, no worries. Three. I mean, sorry. Fives. <laughs> ah, that should do it. Yep. That's the squad. Wow. So good. Uh, pretty strong. Right. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, now my, my Dreadnought's like, hey, you know, leave something for me. Play! <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so we've got the Flamer yep. from my Catalyst into Anva. Oh, let's, uh, yeah. Four shots. <laughs> Sounds good. Anti-infantry two. Oh, that's good. But you have like a weird no wounding thing, don't you? I have a, mm, no, minus one to wound, but yours will get around it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's perfect. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, four pin <laughs> What the heck? Yeah, it's actually uh, a great weapon for you. <laughs> it's a great weapon. So let's be on the bodyguards. They have four plus invulns. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So okay. kill one. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> so um, and uh, their guns are heavy, so no advance and shoot. Mm -hmm. They just moved, but I don't mm -hmm. think they have any targets. Yeah. So we've got some charges. Let's do it. Um, we're going to charge into your commander. Uh, with Uriel and his okay. blade guard. Fantastic. Can you tell me what that might take me? Not too bad, just a five. Five. And then we're also... Uh, do I declare charges all at once? No, no, no just one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, That's old world. Yeah, you animal. <laughs> Monday. Monday. Yeah. So five inch charge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seven. That's a seven. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll move that up and... Uh, uh, <laughs> let's see what some swords can do. Mm -hmm. I think it's scary. I think so. And we have to touch base if we can, right? Yep, Just absolutely. Behind the other. Great. Beautiful. And then the Kaladis has a nine-inch charge into um, Anva. Secret and we're gonna, engine. we're gonna. Let's go. This is the whole narrative of the game. <laughs> oh, this is true, right? The guy knew you were alive. Exactly. I'm gonna take you in. Oh, uh, no. it's very close. Very close. Not this time. No. <laughs> exactly. Listen, it's just not the master assassin. No, what are you gonna do, right? All right, uh, uh, that's all the charges. Let's get the swords out yeah. and see if we can kill just this, uh, just this, at least the crisis. At least the crisis. That's what we're going I've got for three here. three wounds left on them. Okay, so we'll start with the blade guard veterans. I've got, what, two in the squad? Mm hmm So they've got four attacks each, which is mighty. Jesus. It's a mighty four attacks. Uh, would you like to reroll ones to hit or ones on your invuln saves? <laughs> ones to hit. Yeah. <laughs> and just a quick note, the Caldus has precision. Oh, okay. So, I think we might have missed that? Um, I guess. So, I, what that means is I could have put it on him instead of the bodyguard? Yeah. I and don't... does he... Does that work? Yeah, it totally works. Okay, I, I but why is that better? Well, do you have an invuln save on, on Va? Or just the bodyguards? It's on everyone. I wouldn't do it, frankly. So, yeah. You, you haven't drawn assassination yet. Yeah, that's right. You want to keep an yeah, easy character. Thank you. Thanks, Chad, though. Appreciate it. But I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah, good you it. actually want to kill just the and also the blade. First. The bodyguard are the best thing at fighting me back too, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yep, exactly. Um, so yeah, reroll ones to hit. I love it. I got nothing to say to you. Okay, so I'm hitting on threes here. Yep. There's uh, two ones. Hey. Turn that around. Oh no! <laughs> Warhammer. <laughs> uh, Top is five. Strength five. Oh. Oh. Tell me that. Oh, oh, come on. AP3, my oh. Or no, sorry, AP2. Uh, I, looked like a, I was looking at their plasma pistol. Oh, must be nice. Hey, yeah. And AP2. two damage each, so yeah. I'll do two at a time uh, for drama, I guess. Battle suit has four plus invuln because we have the upgrade. Fours! Okay, so there's two down to so one. So one wound left. Four! Huh. Are you looking good? Yes. Ah. Four? Oh. Yes! Hang in there. That Can shield gen. Interest? I know, right? Okay. Uriel. <laughs> Uriel has a mighty six attacks. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six. And sustained, I think, right? Uh, sustained hit one. Let's see that. 
Okay. So look, we miss with one, yeah. and we sustain with one. And you get to re-roll one. No, oh, the blade guards give it to him? They give it to him. Oh, that's weird. Ah, <laughs> <Yep. laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Strength, five still? Six. Oh! <laughs> that's good, it's, actually. It's actually just okay. right. I'm kind of into this, actually. Me too. Threes. Ooh. Oh, I dropped too many there. Oh, no. All right. But we you, were never going to get the commander. No. If, you want to get the other guy, though. Yeah. Um, so one at a time? I failed one. Let me, I got excited. So you have one wound left. I have one so wound you just, left. So if you fail one of these, he dies. But I won't. Yes. Oh! Come on! Oh! oh. oh. Okay, 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 no. okay. So he does die. Dang it. But just, so the commander is uh, fully fresh. Yeah, hanging in there. We've got some which sickles, is Which is, is nice. kind of good. And we can punch you. Do you want to fight me back? I, I will. Pause for dramatic effect. Watch out. Flying fists of fury. Yeah. Fish of, oh, it's three decks. Yeah. Fours. Oh. <laughs> nice. Eight. Just roll. <laughs> it's a special roll. All right. Got to exactly. hit. I like it. String five, so three. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone, for wasting your time. <laughs> okay. That Beautiful. is my turn. Fantastic. We'll score it up. Uh, you had, bring it down, <laughs> which you killed a lot. Yeah. Uh, three, a piranha, two tetras, and a devilfish. That'll give you the max points. Oh, five. Of eight. Of oh, eight. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one. And then behind enemy lines... I don't know if I got quite there. Uh, no, because I think I needed a within. bigger charge. Yeah. Either so. way, it yeah. was... Um, it, it, it throws a monkey wrench. Exactly. Can he fall back and shoot? He... He can just stand in combat and shoot? He can just stand in combat and shoot. Okay. I didn't buy the upgrade. So um, that's something. It's honestly... And he can't advance. Yeah. Which is important. So I'm into it. Would you like to bin behind enemy lines... You won't get yeah. a CP because you already got Calgar. Listen, I have no one position to do it. Those yeah. guys are dead. If I kept it, you would just, you're just you going to ice them. Oh, agreed. So I'll take the CP, and now actually yeah. that puts me in good CP standing. Uh, no, so you've already got one because you have Calgar. Oh, Calgar. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no matter what. But you want to recycle that. Yeah, but I'll recycle it. Yeah. Cool. With that, we're over to the Tau. Top of turn four. We'll get a CP. Uh, yes, yeah. we shall both get a CP. Beautiful. I shall take secondaries before I take anything else. Yeah, that's it. Let's see, Mal. You uh, get... Assassinate oh. an overwhelming force. Well, I have Uriel Ventress right in your face. I think I can handle that. Yeah. Famous last words. And then uh, overwhelming force, <laughs> kill things on objectives. Uh, unfortunately, you did leave That's an objective. That's not easy. I don't love it. Um, oh, I have a catalyst on the objective. And I have a secret agent. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm really into that. So that's great. <laughs> All right. I've already binned, I believe. So that's it for me. And let's see. Got some dice. Man, if Anvad does this, I'm so... You live on forever. Yeah. I don't even know if they have enough attacks to do this. Um, They're just going to die in combat with me. <laughs> I know. I mean, the OC would be nice, right? Like, what's the OC of a Kalidus? Got to be nothing. It's got to be nothing. Anva is one, and the guard is one. So. But you got to hope the guard doesn't die. I need to not die. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see any battle shock. Okay. We are losing army. We have, we have a lot of devilfish in here, which is nice. Cool. Primary, just five. Just the five. Because the infiltrator is successful. This game. I know. I'm gonna, uh, 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 uh. With that, I'm going to get moving. Okay. And uh, how's chat doing? That's it. Yeah. Chat is doing great. We have, thank you, Borgos, for the soup chat. Any modeling tips for Iron Hand Scouts? Oh. Um, Iron Hands, yeah. Well, they make an Iron Hands upgrade kit, which uh, I bought quite a few of when I was doing my Iron Hands. Yeah. And it actually comes with, like, robot arms and stuff, which is super cool. Um, I think the thing about the scouts is, though, if you're thinking thematically, they're new initiates. They probably haven't been augmented very much. The augmentations come over your career with the Iron Hands. Oh, yeah. And you progressively become more and more machine. Right. Um, so the scouts would be, like, the least mm -hmm. augmented. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they also love showcasing their, their augmentations. So if, like, the scout loses a hand or, yeah. you know, gets an eye blasted off, <laughs> instead of them repairing it to look more natural. Yeah. They deliberately make them look more oh, machine. Oh, I like that. Because it's uh, it's in fashion. Right, right, exactly. You know, you know what I really like for uh, for them? <laughs> I did this on my fifth scouts, but I think it works better okay. on the Iron Hands, is Admech heads. Oh, yeah, the, with the cloaks? The, the hoods, the cloaks. Oh, the eyes. And the, exactly. they, they have the metal eyes, yeah. So if you can get a hold of those heads, that's fantastic. So he's talking about Skitari, like, Ranger and Vanguard heads? Yeah. Uh, particularly the Ranger heads, I think. Yeah, the ones I think you those like, are Because they were cloaked and things. The, yeah, the helmets on the Vanguard are not quite right, but the ones where they don't have a helmet, and it's just like the yeah. raw head with the plugs. And, and that was a, a particularly good idea, because old scout heads were the worst heads in the business. <laughs> yep. Now the heads are pretty cool, but pretty cool. they're still kind of plain. Yeah. Um, not but yeah, the, the upgrade kit is is a fine way to go. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't do too much. You know, scout, they're wearing standard scout armor and things like that, so they're not, that's not, in my opinion, that's like not the unit to embellish too much. Mm. You know, the the one guy in the squad has his metal arm. 
And, <laughs> he's like, know, hey, look, guys. And I he's the coolest arm. guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're so excited. <laughs> oh, like, yo. like a tear and he comes out of the bush and cuts his arm off and he's just screaming like, yes! <laughs> he's yes. so happy. <laughs> I love it. All right, can I, can I reach the Centurion? That's the question. So I'm going to move here. You may overwatch if you'd like. <laughs> Uh, and I'll just I'll just tell you my cunning plan. I just want to charge you and, and then hopefully survive the. Yeah, I'm just going to spend one CP to walk back sixty six inches. Yeah, you might say that. All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, it turns out that strat is key. It's so good, <laughs> even against the town. Right? Uh, you've got a lot of OC here. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to worry because I just can't yeah. deal with it, frankly. So this prana, I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what he wants to do. Can these guys kill you in combat? Yeah, if they have not, if they could. They might. They, they could. might not. I'm yeah. just basically taking a gamble because I don't have the resources to spend right now. Yeah. Uh, that's not true. I could definitely bring this up. Eh, 10. Only 10. Bring what? This Riptide. Oh, the Riptide. The Riptide. Uh, yeah. You could definitely do it. Thug says the non island air is getting to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's yeah. Rough. Rough. It is a very different humidity here uh, than where I live, mm -hmm. and so I always kind of take a, you know, like a week to recover <laughs> uh, when or of coming here. You know, right. it's, it's a big change for me. Uh, we'll move the devilfish up and then get the uh, breachers out. There's ah. always more breachers. There's always more. This is the last batch, though. This is it. This is the, the end final. of the endless breachers. <laughs> up, 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 They're up. great, though, because now I have I don't have too much chance in the back. Ah, I guess my my uh, uh, dreadnought can come right. out. Hey, and if I don't. I guess the centurions don't want to come in. Uh, so we'll go here. Shoot here. I gotta deal with this. I am feeling like I might need to, ah. Mmm. Mmm. The Riptide is so perfect for the centurion, so I might have to take that shot while I can. But I need to make sure I kill through to Uriel Ventress, and I'm taking away For your assassin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because right. uh, if I t remove this Riptide, what do I have left? <laughs> right, it's just the burst cannon. Yeah, this does not feel great. But the Centurions, Brian. Oh, I have a ghost kill here too. Oh, ghost that's kill? that's actually kind of important. That is important. <laughs> Never forget the ghost kills. Uh, all right. It's well, great. we'll let you move it up. Yeah. Well, thank you, C. Drews, for the super chat. So, do we need to have a Brian off to see who the true Brian is? Are yeah. we in a Brylander situation? There must only be one true Brian. Yeah. Brian no, you've nailed it. That this is all true. Um, <laughs> the Brian. And we 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 must. Uh, we must have a Brian off. Uh, we got to figure out though. Um, I guess is 40k the game to you know we should we should break out our wheel and spin it. Yeah. Like which game to have a Brian off? Oh my god! Absolutely. It's gonna come down to like tiddlywinks or something. <laughs> tiddlywinks. <laughs> you know? Sticky Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah. Just don't play him in Legion. Apparently he's quite good at that. Yes, uh, Sticky Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm um, here for it. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be, as I said, I've, I've never got a chance to play him. It would be great. I was hoping we could do it this time, but uh, it'll have to be on my next trip. Yeah, that's all right. That's the way it goes. I think totally. I just fall back here. Uh, fall back with the commander. With the commander. Yeah, let him, let him supervise. Yeah, he's like, hey, do the thing. Hey, you. <laughs> hey, you guys. And then you're, you're putting that burst cannon, like, right to Ventress's head. Like, very yeah. Matrix, like, dodge this. <laughs> <laughs> dodge this. And then I'll bring the piranha back. To force the battle shock, and if a, if you fail, then you can't armor contempt, which is nice. Sweet. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do that. With all your moves, right? I know. I'm... Thank you, Raza, for gifting one tabletop membership. Raza, oh, thank you. Putting us at twenty-seven. I wonder if Amazing. we can hit thirty, because I like me some even numbers. Challenge accepted, Mel. Thank you. So you can do it. That's it. You did it. We've done moving, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna harass you. These drones are like, hey, looking good over there. Stop harassing me, drones. Yeah, exactly. So you want to take a battle shock check? Yes, yeah. this is Uriel Ventress. He's good. Dang it. Look at your space brains and you always pass that. I know. Shooting. Shooting. What do you got for uh, me? Where's my, where's my Tetris? Oh, they're a bit in here. Okay, so we're going to have the stealth suit spot for the Riptide. Which is perfect. It's perfect, and it gives them rerolling ones to wound. Yeah, well. I know. It's great. Into the Centurions. Uh, would you like to... Let me talk, tell you about myself. Your AP four four damage. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, strength nine. Strength. No twelve. Like that. Mm. Mm. Oh man, there's a lot of sheets that look exactly the same. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, no, only strength eight. Oh, okay. Same okay. thing though. And AP three. Ignore oh, okay. cover. Uh, I so I have, have a two up save. I can take you down to. So I could give myself four up saves in this scenario. Yeah. Which is four up saves are good because every one is a dead guy. Feels worth it. It's yeah. like your big hammer. It's yeah. your big mobile hammer. 
Yeah. So. Um, but then I have no pickup for them next turn. But your Riptide's already standing in my line of sight. True. So, okay. <laughs> That's very true. Okay. <laughs> and I can't fire and fade. Okay. Yeah. So, Field one up. CP. I'm down to zero. Beautiful. Uh, armor of Contempt. I love it. They have nothing but Contempt. Nothing. I'm going to overcharge. So, I'm being spotted, but there's no Marker Light. So, oh no, it's, the Marker Light has nothing to do with that. It's just being spotted. It goes Correct. to sustained. Cool. I'm not ignoring cover is what it is. No. If So, if you're spotted by a unit that has a Marker Light. And, and they have, cover. and this guy, your sergeant, has a marker light? I don't think. I'm pretty sure he does. Do they? I need to just play with the models again. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth suit. Do they have marker light keyword? Oh, they can have a marker drone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. There you go. Oh, well, yeah, it was all part of the plan. Just, and I, just a question from, from chat. Yeah. I'm curious if you could fire and fade onto the middle objective, which I don't know the answer. I, he just doesn't have enough CP for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I want to be on the center objective. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it's not amazing. Yeah. Like, my Dreadnought can come to the center objective. Because, like, too. Cold, the commander certainly could move on to the point. But then you can have a. Mm, that's okay. I'm going to live with my mistakes. Thank you, though. Um, hitting on threes. Stealth, minus one. I can hitting... modifiers. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a good one. And we get two explosions. Oh. Double explosions. Oh. Oh, that's big. That's huge. Oh. <laughs> threes. I think you're going to do some work. Right? No, nope. you roll the one. <laughs> roll the one. Into a two? No. I know, right? Wow. That's good. Wow. That's good. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. Odds, <laughs> on odds, you kill four. Right? Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. All right. Oh, you killed one! What? What? But what? Ryan never what? rolls odd. Like what? immediately when he said no. that, I was Incredible. like, Incredible. No nothing, way. nothing but contempt they have uh, for you. I'm so upset. Nothing but contempt. No way. <laughs> uh, so quick, I yeah. guess <laughs> I'll pull your charge range to no. be harder. No. No. <laughs> ah, you can't keep getting higher than I'm a plasma. <laughs> I'm in range. It's on a three a because I ignore modifiers. And then wounds on a three uh, roll ones. ones. Wounds on a three. That's no, a two. that's not it. Uh, oh my god. sticks. Okay. Um, we'll do the stealths. Because you're going to run away anyways. Yeah. Fusion. Oh, they have fusion. They have fusion. That's big. Yeah. I missed. Okay. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I don't want to do that. I'm going to skip the burst. Okay. I got no AP. Uh, cool. Beautiful. That uh, did not... That looked like it was going to be hot. It looked so wasn't good. That like, wasn't that like 10 wounds or 8 yeah. wounds? Yeah, yeah. That was like... Oh, so that should have been the whole squad. I know. Never tell me the odds. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, we're going to spot with the Tetras into Ural Ventress's squad yeah. for the Riptide. Okay. Let's do this thing. In the back pocket. Uh, you have... Blah, 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 blah. Everyone has invulns. Three damage. Three wound. Um, I'm just getting four up saves. Yeah. yeah. I'll do the plasma because that's one three damage shot. So on a three. Yes. On a two. Yes. <laughs> four up invuln. Okay. This is on the blade guard? Yes. Uh, so he's going to go down. Toasty. Right? Yep. Three damage there. So that's one blade guard veteran down. And now it's uh, one left. Yeah. See what we got. So this okay. is threes, re-rolling. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Don't get too excited. I won't. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. It's 12 extra hits. I'm not going to count my ducks before they're hatched, though. Exactly. They're definitely... <laughs> the check's in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Strength six, so threes here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nice. There we go. AP one, make more cover. Okay, AP one, so I have to do this a bit at a time. No, I think it's doesn't probably, actually matter. It's the same armor save because he's not. Yeah, it's just threes and fours. Yeah, you can multi same time, uh, which will make the dice roll worse too. That's my plan. So this is a four up save. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> same <laughs> as last time. Same as last time. Okay. So oh wait, that's, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we should have done them separately, but that's okay. Why? Because you will actually go to a three up with Ventress. Why? Because you're in cover. Oh, ignore cover. Never you're mind. Ignore cover. Yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. So that's the blade guard dead. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> two each. That's Ventress dead. Yeah. That's Ventress dead twice over. Yeah, it was like Borbia right there. No, Ventress actually only has how many wounds? Five. So yeah, it is twice over. So you got him. Yeah, I got you. I don't, uh, you know, and then you even had the fusion yeah, from, the, the uh, from the ghost kill. He's like, I'm ready too, guys. Yes. All right, so we've got an assassination. Feels good. Great. Um, over here, what's the order? We, <laughs> I don't know. It probably doesn't super matter. Uh, I'll have the ghost keel spot for the, the breachers. breachers. Yeah. And let's just do, let's do one million shots. So six. So 20 shots from the breachers? Exactly. So this is hitting on twos. 15, 
Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Twos with uh, sustained two, re-rolling all wounds. All right. <laughs> so many ones. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So eight back in. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Beautiful. And then winning on threes. I mean, if rolling. this this absolutely if this doesn't do it, <laughs> something terribly wrong is up. I I give up. I'm gonna play old world now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So these are all four ups because AP won. Okay. And uh, four ups. Uh, hup, 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 hup. So we'll just take out the fails <laughs> for me. I mean, it seemed fine actually. Right? Yeah. And, and then I got sixes still. Absolutely. Sixes! Oh. So that's one, two, three, four dead, and a, and a half. So Get them out of here. That's them. Yes, we're killing things. Um, it's a bloody game. It's a very bloody game. That is it for shooting. Okay. I actually, you I, do have an Envah charge. I feel so bad. It's uh, like a four inch charge. Yeah, let's do it. Envah, secret agent! Oh, you made it. Oh, so yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah! It's not a proud moment, but it'll do. Uh, and then... Stealth suits into Centurions. Yeah. Yeah? So I pulled one of them, but it's not gonna make a huge difference. You're just outside of six, but inside of seven. Okay. Looking for a six, no problem. Here we go. <laughs> no! That you, is a problem. You did say that out loud, Adrian. You You said no problem. I did say no problem. Ah, uh, let's go. I'll spend a CP. Reroll. No, it's two CP for a reroll. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm just get my. Uh -huh. He got me the Calendus! The, no! the superior assassin! <laughs> hey, now, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Although I did take a little sneak peek at my profile. And it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> you needed both those bodyguards. Uh, Even then. Are you the guy? No. Listen, you gotta believe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, combat. Uh, <laughs> Anva didn't fake his own death for this. <laughs> so true. Anva. So, I do technically have enough tanks to kill you. <laughs> okay, good. So, first we'll start with. No, no. We'll start with the Supreme Honor Blade. Yeah. Uh, which is three tacks. Yeah. On threes. Yeah. Does, okay. uh, and I don't have any weird rules. No, you have, uh, you don't have stealth. Yeah, Great. nothing. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm, I was looking at one. Three attacks on three. My shield. Threes. Huh. Uh, oh, uh, that's a dream alive. Strength. Five. Ah, oh, threes. Threes. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Uh, What's my armor save? Four up and roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then on Va, close combat weapon. Six up. Okay. Okay. All right, now, okay. You, now you. And and what am I? Uh, you're like I think six I'm five attacks. attacks. <laughs> it's something a lot. I pop the duality shield. So I'm gonna get a two plus invulnerable save. Oh, you know. Uh, now, now it's gonna look extra bad when you roll the ones. I know it's so, <laughs> it's so horrible. C A L L I D. Calidus. That's how you spell everyone. Five attacks. Five attacks. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Did you break, uh, Adrian? Yep. Okay. Oh wait, no. Minus one to hit. Minus one to wound. Oh. Oh. So I actually missed a bunch. Secret agent. So wounding on fours? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to put these on on Va? He has five, but you can't kill him. So just kill the you body. You want the OC, yeah. yeah. Four plus invulnerable. Dang it. Okay. I lost the point. That's a bodyguard? <laughs> and he takes two. So he's down to three. Is there any chance the two assassin ones. fights first? <laughs> By the way, everyone, he oh, rolled yeah. two ones <laughs> on his two up invulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't too up in <laughs> Remember I said it would be extra embarrassing when he rolls the ones? I was looking for four. <laughs> no, it was two up. No! <laughs> That's a horrible. I can't re-roll it. Isn't it extra embarrassing? <laughs> it's so, I'm so embarrassed. Yes, the assassin did have fight first. No, it didn't matter. Um, so I will, I'll, That's I true. have I one OC have versus first. your one OC. So That's nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is the way Anva wanted it. One, ver one, one v one. Yeah, yeah. Now oh. things are even. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Let's score it up. It was a fine turn, to be honest. Overwhelming force. We killed one thing on an objective. Yeah. Yep. Three points. We did assassinate <laughs> for five, and we'll pass it over to the Espacha Marines. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Incredible. Um, I, I uh, started my turn. I'm going to get two CP. Oh, I'm going to get one. And uh, let us pick up some uh, some points. Let's see it. Some, some cards. Let's see. Now Here's assassination. Your secondaries. Yeah. Tempting Ooh, and tempting. area denial. Okay. Ooh, that's rough. So, so tempting target. I'll tempt you with the one that's over here. I yep. literally have nothing that could ever get there. I love it. Uh, and area denial I already have? No, you have to get within six yourself. Hold oh. within six of the center. Ah, oh, that might actually be really tough. Uh, it's going to be an important advance roll, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. That's um, 
Great. I might get none of that. So on primary, I get 10, mm -hmm. which uh, is, is big. Yeah. Oh, no. So I'm holding. Is this guy on the point? No. Here we're tied. So I should turn it off. Even though I had sticky, right? It doesn't matter. Oh. Chat. We have a we'll call for help on that. Yeah, we'll come back in a second. <laughs> call a friend. Call a friend. Do okay. Like, yeah, I've gone there. Yeah. That is a weird scenario. It's very weird. Do you want to explain the scenario to chat? Okay, so here's what's going on. Um, so Brian had intercessors on the point earlier, which means even <laughs> if he's not on it, he would control it, unless right. I take it. Right. And when I word it like that, that makes me. Um, the question is now, I've moved on. So he has no OC here, no OC. We, we have one OC each, so we're tied on the point. The question is, does it still remain under his control as if we won't both weren't there? Um, and the more I explain it, the more I feel like it is. But let us know, chat. Yeah, let us know, because it's weird. Yeah, it is very strange. Uh, Skello Fiction says Sticky is tiebreaker. Right, because they never took it. Yeah. He still keeps it. So he gets 10. Wow, we 10. really, those double ones. Devastating. <laughs> it's truly a skill. Devastating. devastating. <laughs> Holy moly. Double ones! Ugh. Uh, we have a leadership here, oh. Battle Shock, and then Oath Target. Uh, so uh, leadership on the one Eradicator. Very good. And on the one Intercessor? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're good. It's good. Easy peasy. And then we're, oh, then in Oath Target, Double yeah, you were saying. Uh, I'll Oath. I guess I'm already rerolling ones, mm -hmm. but uh, I could put some Bolter Shot. You have two up save, though, right? Two up save, yeah. So that's not that exciting. But uh, if I made it my Oath Target, like, let's say I rolled a four on my advance, I would be nine. It's going to be an impossible charge. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 12 even on that. Yeah. Um, so I could charge here, but then unless I killed this, I'm in danger zone. Right. Okay. Well, something to think about yeah. as far as Oath. Um, uh, While you're thinking about that, big thank you to John McArdle for uh -oh. gifting 50 tabletop memberships. Uh, big Daddy John McArdle, thank you as always. Hopefully you're having a good time at Battle to End Alzheimer's. I might make that my Oath, just because of the Dreadnought. Yeah, might as well. Can take some shots. Fine, okay. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. Hopefully you're having a good time. I'm jealous of everyone there. I want to know how he got uh, Volan told that he was driving Melody to the event. <laughs> right. So he moves five. If I need to get Holy within six, uh -huh. then Holy within, I would need a four-inch advance. Okay. No, I might even need more than that. One second. Yeah, no so Holy within six, sorry? Yeah. Six, okay. So then the back of my base would need to move nine inches. So it's a four. Uh, yeah. It's a four-inch advance. Yeah, four is four is right. So, or I could just use my eradicator. That's true. Right. Yep. Um, but the thing is, I also have five of those guys still. Five points on an area is so big. Yeah. Okay. So four-inch. This guy moves eight. No, I think he's. Wait. Do I get any points if I'm not in there? No. Okay. Despite what people say. You might just be able to walk him over. And be partially within or wholly within? Uh, he moves, if he moves eight, back of the base is here. Oh, uh, no, that's partial. And the wall, it's because the wall's in the way. The wall's If it wrong. wasn't for the wall, I could easily do it. Right. I would easily do it, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And his base is just too wide. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you take the eradicator, but five okay. points is five points. Four inch you know? advance. You, you think I take the shots with the eradicator. Um, because yes. if, if you're out of... Uh, Options there, yeah. Ooh, but I am—I actually should overwatch you though. Once I move, I can do it when you declare the move too. I think, in my opinion, I would try for it because it's a four up to score points. Um, yeah. And then I got to try to overwatch you at the start of it because if you roll like a six, you could maybe do it and get it on line of sight. Yeah. So I got to do that now. Without seeing your roll. Okay. Sure. So I'll spend the overwatch. Okay. We'll go here. Uh, <laughs> six shots. No overcharge. Sixes. Ooh. One turns to two. And then threes. Okay. Yeah, he's toast. Oh. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's so toast. we're still yeah. debating whether or not uh, sticky. it was sticky because he had OC2 <laughs> at one point, right? And oh, the, at the bodyguard. The at the end phase. of the fight phase, if it checks every <laughs> phase. phase does it check every phase? That's the debate in chat. We need to look up control objectives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay. So that was a lot of back and forth, but... So I could advance the Dreadnought then. Yes, definitely. And I wouldn't need much of an advance to do that. No, that's um, also true. But then there's no shoe sting 
there. Um, but again, it is a bunch of points. But then my Dreadnought's just hanging out. Are you getting points for killing this turn? No. And you're not taking it, so I don't think this is as essential. No, it's not that it's essential. It's that it's free shots. For me into you. And then and then I'm fairly safe still, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, That's true. And I can take the center later. Right. But actually, if I force your hand in the middle, like, you don't have a ton of OC, so it might be worth it just to get on the point and force you. Yeah. Although you could easily get more OC on this than I do. Yeah, because you're probably, like, OC3 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Tricky, tricky. Right? All right. Objectives. <laughs> Objectives. Problem is all our rules mods are playing in this event. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna advance the uh, the aggressors. Yeah. Ooh, as close as possible. Let's see what that says. <laughs> a player controls an objective marker at the end of any phase or turn in which their level of control over it is greater than their opponent's. Okay, so we did take it. So now now nobody holds it, which means Brian will only get five on primary. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's so close. Is that the new score? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay. I'm up by 10, but you haven't done any of your secondaries yet. And you're going to go second at the end of the game. Oh. I think I'm in trouble a little bit. Yeah. Could you so, explain to chat again about what happened? Um, absolutely. Yeah. So can we get a zoom over here? Yes, we can. So basically what happened is, again, Brian did have control of it, <laughs> left it, but it still remains under his control because of the objective secured ability from the intercessors. Calidus is on the objective with OC1. I charge with, with a unit that has OC2. At the end of that phase, I now control it, because I have two OC, he has one. Now that whole sticky thing about holding it doesn't matter. That, that ability goes away. In the fight phase, Calidus fights and kills one of the models. We're now tied, uh, which means at the start of the next phase, Brian's phase, uh, or at the start of the Battleshock phase, nobody holds it, so it's just zero. So when we go to Brian's uh, primary, he's not holding this one, but he is holding the other one. Good Thank you. questions. No problem. Yeah, the phase thing is because at one moment we just we did have a little bit more OC. So we'll take what we can get. Here come the bully boys. Yeah, a bit of a tricky problem with these guys. I, I don't want to just put them out there for the commander and mm. the, the riptide and everyone just to blast them for free. Yeah, exactly. So keep them hidden just a bit longer. Yep. Um, I think that's the way to do it. It's beautiful. Uh, the Centurions have moved to be able to shoot there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this Intercessor actually could play a vital role in the game. Honestly, yes. Um, so I'll throw an advance for him and just see what he gets. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So oh, oh, oh. this oh, is it's kind so of good. big. Yep. Yeah. There's your area denial. Beautiful. And then this guy can just plink some shots down here, I think. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Keep himself largely hidden. Uh, yep, what's yep. the range on his weapon? Uh, it's all the all the weapons, all, all and I think some of them are only eighteen, actually. Yeah. The so onslaught Catlin's twenty four. So, <laughs> so I have to come to the corner. You have to get to the corner. And then the plasma, the plasma though is thirty six. Yeah, so. that one definitely reaches with with big blast. Okay, so that might just be enough, just to just to chip them. Yeah, a I think that's bit. fair. And then stay in striking distance of the middle if mm -hmm. anything comes there. Mm -hmm. I okay. Like oh, I think I I think I did it. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, so I'm going to go into my shooting phase. Yes. I'm going to spend uh, one CP to give them the plus one ballistic yeah. skill. Strike from the shadows. Um, and then we're just going to put everything into your riptide. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, so we've got only five this time. Okay. It's fine. Five last cannons on twos. Three rolling ones. That'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Winning on threes. Yeah. Good length. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, miss one. Okay, okay. So four ups, no re-rolls. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Fours! Oh, oh okay. okay. You, you were due. Yeah, yeah, I was due. So D6 plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. D6 plus one. <gasps> oh, it's big. You're good. You're good. Jesus. It's big damage. Uh, what did I say they were? 14? Yeah, 14. So we're down to eight. Okay. Down to eight. And you have all the grenades. Yeah. So it's... Uh, Five, one, two, three, four, five, D3. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That, uh, that was low. Yeah, that was rough. Okay. So but strength nine. Hitting on twos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rerolling the ones, thankfully. Beautiful. Okay. Winning on fours. Winning on fours. And not twin linked. Not twin linked, right. Okay. Oh. So you got off there. We're going to hang. 
We're gonna live. But it is AP3, so up on your uh, on your inbound. Yep, fours. Ah, okay. okay, fair. D3. Two more Two damage. More. Okay, okay. Down six. So you're still alive? Yeah, he's hanging in there. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And I you're gonna get to blast me back. Yeah, exactly. So we're not revenge. We're not gonna get it two times. No. Um, so we could put all of them mm -hmm. into these three stealth suits. Yep. You want me to pick them up? <laughs> it could save us a bit of time. <laughs> yep. Uh, the Redemptor is gonna put his Macroplasma Incinerator, not overcharged, into here. Absolutely. So it's uh, D6 plus one blast, so, so plus, plus two. Yep, so it's D6 three. plus three. Yep, you got it. So uh, five. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Hitting on threes, mm -hmm. re-rolling, because I made them my oath target. Oath of mom. Oh no, <laughs> the oath. And then twos. Yeah. There you go. Uh, AP is a lot. It's AP three. So four dead. Okay. Ah. And uh, everything else was 24 inch range, which I'm just mm. out of. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, I'm at like 26 inch range. Totally. So uh, the Her Flamer, is it a pistol? Yeah, so I was gonna, gonna check. C-A-L-L. -L. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is not. <laughs> okay. Um, then it's time for charges. Mm -hmm. um, this is the, uh, or combat, this is the only combat. Yeah. There's going to be no charges. Cool. You fight first. So I fight first. It was six attacks or five? It was five. One, five two, attacks, three, yeah. four, five. Do your worst. Uh, minus one to hit, minus one to wound, even without the bodyguards. Okay, sitting on threes. Yeah. It was big. It's the paradox of duality, Brian. That's right. And uh, force to wound now. Yeah. Because what's your toughness? Toughness is three. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Up. Uh, Four pinballs. I need to make one of these. Oh, you're oh, good. Oh, yay! Oh, this is a really good spin. <laughs> what a spin! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> one fist, one kill. He missed. <laughs> the Fair duality enough. of paradox. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> paradoxical. Um, um, yeah. That's okay, it. so I did my secondaries. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, quiet but good turn, right? Tempting target. Uh, failed. failed. Which I'll pitch. Yep. And then Aerid and I, big five points. There you go. Oh, oh man. Does Brian get a CP for pitching that or no? No, because, because I got Calgar yeah. at the start of the turn. Calgar. Excellent. We shall pass it to the Tawa for the final turn. Oh, it's going to be very tight. We each get a CP. I will take two secondary cards and I will accept nothing but the best. Uh, okay. I, I, I hit the button before you You switched. did. I didn't hear the end of my request. Yeah. So engage in all fronts. Be in three table quarters, ideally four. It's totally doable. I mean, yeah. Right? You've got three. Yo, you're in four already. I'm in four already. Uh, that, you just need to move that prana over. Exactly. No so that's problem. great. This is fantastic. In area denial, um, I need, need to... just need to kill that one dude? Yes. That's actually not easy at all. It's not easy at all. I'm going to have to expose uh, Riptide. Probably this guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, last turn though. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Let's go. All right, so that's that. Battle shocks, Riptide over here. Uh, I have no strats, so wow. You do have three CP. Just put. I have. I think just two CP. Oh, okay. Battle shock. He's good. He's good. No He's problem. good. He's good. Over here, I'm at. I'm below. Yeah, because it's part of his original squad. Uh, that's where I spend auto pass. No, because you're going to go bottom of turn anyways. Yeah. So I actually don't care. No, I do care. I'll tell okay. you why. I'm going to auto pass. Okay. Because if I fail, I need to fall back, otherwise I risk losing points. Yeah. And if I if I battle shock when I fall back, I can just die on a one. Yeah, right. So there's no point. I'll spend a CP to be uh, to auto pass there. And that's it. Okay. So yeah, plans for the turn. Try to kill this intercessor. Get in all four corners. And that's basically it. That's I want to avoid ah, it's gonna be tough. I think you're gonna you're gonna push through at the end, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, with that, hi chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Thanks so much, Curse Cowboy, for the super chat. Thank what you. events would you all say are the must attend events for a new player? Oh, Las Vegas Open. <laughs> Gotta do it. I mean, the Las Vegas Open is, is pretty good just because there's, it's a, you know, it's a who's who of the whole community. Lots yeah. of people come out. If you're based in the US, of course. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just a big event. You so many people. There's, you know, so much going on. Yeah. They have the, you know, the vendors and, there's just so much to see, you know? Yeah. So I think that uh, that's the one I would ge generally not miss. Mm -hmm. Would you go um, to Adepticon? I think that's eh. another big one. Adepticon's cool. It's, it's cool. It's a different kind of event. It depends what you want to go. If you want to go for hobbying and the con and all that stuff, definitely go. It's, a, it's the best uh, of, of that kind of stuff. Exactly. If you're going to play a tournament, it, it 
can be contentious. Yeah. I think terrain is going to be better this year, but traditionally it can be a very harsh, it's four games in one day, yeah, like, yeah, no matter yeah. who you are. Which it's, honestly it's is not fun. It's not fun. No, four games so, in one day, I yeah. like, it, I'm really good at tournament play and it's not, I don't it's enjoy it. It's too much Warhammer. It's, it's there are smaller events miserable. you can go to there, but for the main event, I would be wary of Adepticon. So yeah. that's, that's my One caveat. of the nice things about LVO is, you know, one of the fun things to do at LVO is to sometimes just play a different game. Yeah. And they have everything there. Right. So many good games going on, too. Um, and you can sometimes, you know, create an event for yourself where you're a bit of everything. Yes. Which is great. Exactly. I know Adrian, Bridges would had... you like some primary? Nah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I get 10 points on primary, holding one and holding right. two. Uh, so I'm just going to tuck in my piranha here. I'm not going to mess around getting anywhere where Brian can overwatch me. It's fine. I'll just live with that. Yep. Um... So Curse Cowboy did go to LVO, which we remember we met. Yep. yep. And then, um, what do we think about Nova? Nova is awesome. Yeah. Highly recommend Nova. We have I've gone, never been to Nova. It's really good, actually. You, yeah. should, you should strike them out. Yeah, I've We've never gone been. twice now, and both times were amazing. Uh, it's got a lot. It's got a lot going on. Yeah, cool. It has a lot. Yeah, a lot. I'd love to see it. I've never it's done it. Really, really fun. So I highly recommend it. Um, yeah. I personally, I um, I love like busy game weekends, but I got a little tired of tournament play just because mm -hmm. I found it like grueling. Like it's actually yeah. really taxing physically um, and just mentally. Yeah. And I found that uh, it was like way harder than my day job. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, like a million times harder. Yeah. So it was very challenging. I found, and once I had done it a lot, um, I mm -hmm. kind of felt like okay, I've I've done this. I, you know, I'd achieved all the things I basically tried to achieve, and then I was like, uh, all right, enough for that. So now when I do gaming <laughs> yeah. weekends, like, we have a big game day tomorrow, I'm going to probably try to play more games in a day than I even play there, but they're just not tournament games, and, you know, you can yeah. stop and get pizza in between, and you're, <laughs> you're hanging out with your, your crew, important. and uh, so those are my favorite kinds of things, right? Uh, personally. Absolutely they were great. thinking LVO, Nova, and maybe the Tampa Open. Oh, Tampa, cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Tampa Open is like the closest big event to me. Right. Um, so I'd consider, should I go there? But the thing is, again, I don't want to go play a tournament. I want like a, a game social experience. game experience. Yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. I definitely agree. Uh, I am just about Honestly, to if I was going to play a tournament, I would play an RTT. Or Vans here. Because the RTT was always like road trip with your crew. Yeah. Like we would road trip, what, like an hour and a half to most right? of the places we would go. 100%. We would play a couple games. It would all be people we know, pretty much, yep. everybody. And then we'd all go out for dinner. Yep. And it was great. And you didn't have to fly anywhere. You didn't have to be overnight. It was, it was a good time. I love And you would always be, like, showing your friends that new thing you just painted. Yes. You know? It's so fun. That's why I started going, I started going again. I haven't been able to go the last few months because we've yeah. been so busy. Went a couple weekends ago with Shane, with Shane hung yeah. out. It was just it was a nice time. It's just good times. Yeah, and it's low stakes, too. You know, it's totally. just nice. So, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll see you at some of these events. I have finished my move. So again, fell back with Anva. Um, we moved the cold star in the middle for area denial. I've got a number of things that can try to kill this one guy. Should and be then, fine. And then we'll, we'll try to take out the centurions. Why not? Yeah. Um, that's Round it. two. Round two with the Round centurions. Round two. F -f -f Fight. They deserve it. Let's go. So we'll go to shooting. Uh, let's do the, uh, I don't know, ghost kill spotting for the... Probably the you can just spot with the tank. Why not? Sure, why not? Yeah, and we have enough spotters, we can kind of just rotate a potato. Yeah. So here's, we'll, we'll start with the Riptide. That's probably the best shot. Two, four, six. Riptide's got to kill a single can Intercessor. It? It's for five points. It is a lot of points, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. It this can is... all go wrong, though. <laughs> At a moment's notice. I'm, uh, I'm minus one, but they, again, you ignore it. Exactly. And we get... Some sustain. Sustained. Oh, we should use these guys to, to for a marker light. For the marker lights. Right, makes sense. And then we get double sustained. And then threes. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Wow, it was really I bad. I mean, that was really bad. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. If you uh, won, you get covered. Oh, no, you don't get covered. I don't get covered. So fours. And he's dead. Yay, we got him. Beep, 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 beep. It's the last intercessor. Right. Uh, and then we'll see if we can kill some centurions. Uh, marker light with. Tetris? Oh, I'll pay the one CP <gasps> to Armor of Contempt you again. Dare. They're they're just seething with contempt from the last time you <laughs> tried so to. They're so contemptuous. Yeah, <laughs> we, it was something we noticed. So Botan have the same. They have Armor of Contempt. Yeah, but it's based off of their suits. Right. It's not a battle tactic. It's technology. This one has nothing to do with tech. It's not They've armor. programmed in the contempt. They just hate everyone. It's so. Bad. No, they have the contempt when they're forging. They're like, yeah. they're, they're feeling the hate as they're hammering. Mad at everyone. Yeah. Who? Everyone. <laughs> yeah. So hitting on threes, double sustained. Oh uh, no! But it is Tetras. 
<laughs> Give me some sixes! Or at least hits. Okay, this <laughs> is six and a hit. Come back in. All right, all right. One on threes. Threes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if you can do this again. Four ups. <laughs> come on! Come on! Oh, oh my revenge! Goodness. Yes! So I have one left. <laughs> yes, I love I'll it. I'll keep the sergeant with his uh, plumed head. Curse you, sergeant. Uh, one plasma real quick, why not? Uh, if it was a six, we could have killed him. Yeah, totally. Winning on a three. One more save on a four plus. Four up! Oh, you got that one. All right, cool. Beautiful. I think that's the most important thing for me to roll. Yep. Uh, Battle shock uh, with the prana does not matter. Yep. Let's score it on up. Let's do it. All right. So we're gonna get big five on engage and a big five on denial. Yep. It's a great score, but Brian is gonna have bottom of turn. Let's see what he can do. Uh, okay. Start a turn. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. I will battle shock the lone Ooh. centurion. Yeah. Uh, he's good. fine. He's, he's too good. thick. He, he, he can't even turn his head, <laughs> so he doesn't even know they're dead yet. <laughs> right? He's Brothers, with me! He's too thick to fail. Yeah, exactly. Too thick to fail. Now, before you do um, secondaries, yeah. we didn't want to talk about if you want to do any uppy-downy. Because you could even do one I of I could these. have pulled the Kaladis last turn because you weren't engaged yes. with her. But then I wouldn't have anyone on this objective. Yeah, so that's something to think about. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But as far as picking him up... Because I um, kind of left this. So that would give me like a behind... So yeah, I'll pick up the aggressor squad. I yeah. think. Oh no, because then I'm not on it for primary. Oh, but I can get on it with the You're centurion. At the end. Yeah, either them for that positioning, or even just him to have one unit to just drop in and score points. Right, because I don't need to kill anything in the backfield. I just need to do it. So not. I'll spend the one CP then. Yeah, and I'll pick up the yeah, one centurion. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Awesome. So with that, now we can get second. Okay. So start of the turn, I'll get my two CP. Um, and yeah, let's pull the cards. This is basically yeah. for game oh, right here. To one. Yeah. Okay. And your secondaries are. Ooh. Assassination. Oh, That's no! Amazing. And overwhelming and, force. And overwhelming force is oh, which? Oh, kill things on objective. Okay. Up to two. Two will max you out. So I have this on an objective. Yep. And this on an objective. And they're both, and they're characters. both assassinations. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's give it That's a go. That's a great. Easy peasy. Let's draw do it. For so you. I. Oh, God. Uh, uh, so for assassinate then. What's his primary? I always at the end of the turn. It's at oh, the end yeah. of my turn, yeah. But so, we're looking at potentially 15, 25. 60. Is that going to tie the game? Uh, so we know the stakes. Who knows? The Centurion might as well just come here and help. Sure, yeah. Makes sense. Um, oh my god. Turn <laughs> on moves. Eight. Yep. Beautiful. And uh, no I need to keep them on that back objective, but I can move them up to shoot your commander. Yeah. Sure. I'll advance. True, 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 true. So they're moving five inch, six inches? Heck yeah. All right. Whoa. Doesn't get much closer than this. Always a good game between you two. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's what you want. You want these tight games where anything can happen at the last minute. Right. I love it. And again, folks, stay tuned. Uh, next week, we have a ton of stuff going on. If you're a member, we have a video coming out tomorrow. Some behind-the-scenes action. If you're not a member, this is what's going on next week. Monday, Old World. Tuesday, Old World for members. Wednesday, guess what? It's Old World again. And That's it's right. going to be at this time slot. So if you're European or, or somewhere on that side of the world, that'll be a good time for you to watch. And, and Old World's going to have you know, Tomb Kings. Oh, yeah. We're going to have High Elves. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Wood Elves. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Empire. We're going to have Lizard Men. Oh. And I actually think the last army, I don't know yeah. yet. I'll That's have nice. to decide. So there's a reason I didn't put any of the armies here, folks, because we're going to be also doing a lot of games tomorrow. Yeah. We might take some input on what's yeah. interesting to you. So that is definitely open to kind of debate. Yeah, as we but it's going to be games. six different armies. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're yeah. not going to replay anything, I think. Yeah. And then, of course, Thursday, uh, hobby stream with, with Brian Leva. Uh, and, not this Brian. Uh, yeah, Brian Leva. Uh, Brian you number... pointed at me but said Brian Leva. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brian Leva. Yeah. And then we have other exciting stuff. Combat Patrol, Lindsay and Brian on Thursday evening. And a week from today... Doc Mel versus Brian Leva uh, with the Space Wolves. It's gonna be awesome. So oh, so much stuff going on. Amazing, next week, right? Oh, it's a, it's a gonna be an amazing it's week. It's gonna be packed. We always we always jam it in when I come. Yeah, yeah. Try to get as much gaming <laughs> like, as we right, can. How can we work in? Book and then in? on the times I'm off all day Sunday. <laughs> yep. Even tonight mm -hmm. and all day Monday I'm playing Old World. Yeah. <laughs> I've got people here and I'm playing so. I love it. I'm gonna get in a lot of Old World games. <laughs> so much. I'm gonna get in like twelve Old World games. <laughs> so. Crazy, um, man. 
But that's now I gotta go home and I can't play. That sucks. So that's, you know, I, I, the thing is though, the like twelve plus whatever games, like the fifteen games I play when I'm here, yeah. it's probably more than most people play in the intervening time. Yeah, exactly. Between I get to play, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. But a, I'm so used to playing like how, however many, so like we used to play like five, six games a week for sure, forever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, ugh. Okay. all right, I did it. I moved. Uh, cool. I don't. Uh, I'll toss an Overwatch into the aggressors, try to reduce some firepower. I think that's my only shot. And then right. I got to let you just do your thing. Yeah, bring it. So, let's bring do it. so that's one CP there, Mel. Um, I realized we didn't overcharge the roll last time. Beautiful. I'll just do it again right now, just for. Yep, we're good. So six big shots. Uh, overcharge. Why not? Into the aggressors. Looking for sixes. <gasps> oh. That turns into four. Nice. Uh, yeah, four. <laughs> and then threes. Can you sure not twos? What's the strength? Uh, it's only like eight or nine or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But these uh, are AP three. So uh, this is sixes. Sixes. Yeah. On my aggressors. Oh. So three aggressors, so three. go down. The Overwatch has been clutch here. Yeah, Overwatch big. All right. That's, one, that's all we two, can do. Two, and three. Beautiful. In every single way. Okay. So uh, basically what we've got now mm -hmm. is we're going to shoot into your commander with mm -hmm. Talgar. Oh. Um, and with the Biologus. Beautiful. And one aggressor. <laughs> um, so... Marnius, Calgar, what are the Gauntlets of Ultramar doing? So we've got six shots. Mm. Uh, sorry, this is shooting. We've got four shots. Oh. Four That's shots, um, hitting on twos. Hooray. Nice, nice. Oh, I didn't pick my Oath target, Oh, go for it. I'm going to take that lethal. Thanks. Uh, what would you and like it's, to uh, It's going to be the command. Yeah. Uh, and then this is strength four, so five to wound. Uh, yep. But it's twin links. Twin link. Oh. <laughs> There you uh, go. AP? AP one. Uh, so fours. Huh. Uh, takes it. How much damage? Just one. Oh, oh okay. no, just two. Yeah. These are the gauntlets of Ultramar. Ultramar. Come on, you're down to four. Yeah. And uh, great, the Apothecary Biologist with his pistol, the Absolver. <laughs> what are you absolving? And uh, that's lethal. lethal. It's AP? AP one. Four. For two damage also, dude. Oh. It's actually kind of cool. I absolve you, my son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you're killing me. <laughs> That's how you get absolved in, in the 41st millennium. Yeah, that yeah. is the only way to be absolved. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Okay, and the aggressor, I just have the one with his gauntlets. Mm. Three. Okay, and re-rolling. Mm -hmm. oh, re-rolling. <laughs> he's, he's breaking <laughs> down. I know. <laughs> and fives to wound. Uh, there's a one, zero AP, my friend. Because it's not within nine, yeah, yeah. But I still take it. Okay. Down to three. Hooray, oh. hooray, hooray. And I have the Fragstorm Grenade Launcher. D6. Okay. Yep. Three shots. Uh, Rerolling. Yeah, lethal. Ice. And okay, okay. one wound. Yeah. Again, no AP. Good. Okay, you're good. So you go down wow. three wounds? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Um, uh, uh, I didn't measure. Am I on the point or do I need to charge to get on the no, point? No, you're on the point. So I should just shoot you. I would just, yeah. So I'm going to overcharge with the Dreadnought and yep. put everything into you. Bring it on. Uh, let's do the uh, D6 <laughs> Macro Plasma Incinerator. Oh, oh finally. Now is the time. <laughs> okay. So hitting <laughs> on threes. Yep. Oh, oh no. Both target. Yep, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then it's threes to win. You got it. Uh, it's not great. Oh, my. Two One plus invulns. Two four up invulns. One time because it's stronger. Ah, uh, boop. <laughs> That's uh, six damage. Twice. <laughs> it goes down. No! It looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> um, okay, and we have the one Centurion into yeah. the Paradox of Duality. Let's go. Okay, so here's the one last Ooh, cannon. Am I... <clears throat> yeah, minus one to hit, minus one to wound still. Just all the time. Okay, so now I'm in... I'm too close to use my <laughs> special ability. Well, you could drop him there, right? No, but if I'm outside of 12, then you're alone up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... So four is... Oh. Uh, it misses? <laughs> yeah, it misses, right? Because mine's one to hit. Yeah, so yeah. I'll command point it? Oh, no. Uh, I'm on an objective, so your yeah. reroll one's turned to full hit reroll. <laughs> you okay. just don't normally need it. So I'll reroll. Oh, yeah! Okay. <laughs> We're and, then, in there. and then this is the uh, this is just his <laughs> missile launcher. D3. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Solid. Uh, one hit and reroll. Reroll. Solid. Okay. Toughness three minus one to wound. Mm -hmm. Okay, so twos up to threes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> and then I'll command point that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> Four plus involved. The paradox of duality. Huh. Okay. Oh, no. It's not good. <laughs> oh no. Okay, oh, it's no. really bad. So two you D three. Need two ones and two ones to live. <laughs> no. Oh, the centurions. <laughs> ah, it's so unstoppable. Paradox. He just missed. faked. He, he faked his death again. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, no, no. no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, that's the end of my turn. That's it. So I will get, uh, for secondaries, I did assassinate. I maxed out assassinate for five. Take five, right? yep. And then uh, I also needed to take the center yep. for something. Uh, and so you've got overwhelming. You killed two things on objectives for right. five points. For five. And then I've got 15 primary. Boom, boom, boom. And that, I believe, <laughs> puts us to an exact time. Oh, <laughs> How good is that? Amazing! <laughs> We're too even, oh, man. Just too oh, even. Man. We've played so many games yeah. over the years. We're just like... <laughs> what an incredible result. Wild. I love it. <laughs> uh, that was so crazy. A very, very cool game. Yeah. Uh, uh, really showed both these armies, the way they work awesome. and what they do. Yeah. Um, a few crazy swings. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, wow! Oh my god! I I'm in shock. It was cool though, because like you were doing all the tricksy, uppy, downy <laughs> stuff. I'm trying to get angles. It's difficult. Yeah. But I do have amazing firepower. Yeah. You know, I think if we were to talk about MVPs, I think uh, the Riptide with the Ion is amazing. Yep. Um, which conversely got me so scared when you just one shotted one right totally. away. Uh, so that was absolutely terrifying. Um, I think I. I could have been a bit smarter with my breachers. Sure. They were too far back for most of the game. Uh -huh. Trading this turn, that was good. But when you do that, you need to get the next one up and ready. Right. You know? It needs I to be kind of an endless. Yeah. Score. I was scared because you could be anywhere at any moment. Yeah, yeah, right. I was maybe, I don't know if I was too scared. The thing is, you have higher priority targets than them. Yeah. So that's true. If right. I'm coming out to shoot them, that's kind of a great result for you. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's like, Trying to see all the angles that you could possibly be at. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. I was trying to play the game completely on my half of the board. Yeah, exactly. Like I never wanted to go over here because yeah. it was a dead zone, right, like dead right. zone. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised that I found I had high quality targets mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was very good. But my MVP was definitely those Centurions. Oh, they were killer. Right. That one turn where they made all the saves was big. <laughs> oh, but also just like they 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 iced that Riptide early, yep. which is. Huge swing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then they just kept being a threat. They kept you so honest. Their yep. range is crazy. Exactly. Uh, they're independent. Like they don't need anything. That's really nice. It's big. They are awesome. And and this was another good example. We talked in the beginning of the game about those tough elite units. How do you get value out yeah. of them? And we talked about the fact that you don't always need to do the thing to be totally. powerful. You had a turn where you just sat on the, on the table. Yeah. And you knew that was a, was an opportunity, right? Yeah. But you could have popped up and down, and so I had to like be ready for that just in exactly. case. Exactly. The fact that you didn't use it doesn't matter. No, it forced you to spread out your stuff. And like for me, I abandoned my backfield. Yeah. And I, what very few assets I had, got to play the game. Like exactly. I got five points with a lone intercessor that I wouldn't have had. That was massive. Um, that was like. Right. That's basically the game right there, right? Exactly right. Me not putting this pressure up because you pushed me back, also the game right exactly. there. Exactly. So many tiny moments where the potential is yeah. everything. Yeah, in this case, one point would have swung it either way, <sighs> oh right? Oh my god. So, very, Amazing. very cool. Super Amazing super game. Fun. I love it. Well, uh, with that, let's take some questions and then we'll talk about, again, what's coming up soon on the channel. We're super excited. We have one question left so Perfect. far. Thank you, James CM. Hey, all. Been a long time since last tuned in due to life stuff. I have 120 points free in my new uh, Imperial Knights army. What oh. agents do you think would work well? Calidus. The Calidus. She's just too good. Uh, 120? 120, yes. Oh, so close to... Almost enough to get two? It's, well, it's her and Henchman. Yeah, right. It is 130. I see. So close. Well, you might be able to, like, drop a... Gun upgrade or something, can uh, you? No. No, because you don't pay for those anymore. Yeah, but you could swap around a couple of holes, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on what you're running. If you have a Warglaive, could turn into a Hellgram, Hel Hellburn or something. Yeah, yeah, right. She just hands hands down, like, amazing amazing scoring. Some people still like like the Henchmen or the uh, the Arbites units, which are fine. Yeah. They're cheap units in the back, but she just, as we see, she has a potential to score so many points and screen out. The problem with those other units is if there's any indirect or anyone has like Definitely. interceptors or something, they can just die. She is always an unknown. Very cool. You know? And the deck is huge too. Yeah. So highly recommend. Her. No, I, I think she was great. And it was it's even just fun to play with her as an assassin. Right? She actually got to go around and try to assassinate on yeah. Va and everything. It's like, <laughs> this is kind of cool. It was awesome. She felt very on brand, which is always nice. I agree, right? which is very cool. Yeah. Hope that helps. And, and stopping you from getting that uh, command point was clutch. Oh my God, it was. It, right? it was so huge. Yeah. It stopped you in a couple ways. It, it would have stopped you from re-rolling on your save, and, mm -hmm. and it, it actually made you fail your charge. There were a couple moments that I was like, I really want to see you re-roll here. So that's, yeah. yeah. It's great. fantastic. I love it. Cool, cool, cool. Well, with that, of course, one more time, a lot of stuff coming up on the channel. If you haven't already, consider becoming a member, or at least subscribe so that you Please know do. what's coming up. Uh, again, tomorrow we're going to be practicing. If you remember, there's a video out. 
Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's Old World time. Tell your friends, tell your mom. It's going to be awesome. Come check it out. Yeah. See, see if this game might be for you. Or even if you just think it, it might actually just be a cool game to, to watch. Yeah. The, well, the armies are so cool when they're aligned against oh, each it's other. it's beautiful. It's great. And of course, it's going to be our own take on the whole thing. So if you think you've seen Old World, you haven't. Because we're going to do the Titans version. It's gonna be That's true. Fun. And come see the armies that Adrian and I have been furiously painting oh gosh, please. Uh, for the last it. six weeks. <laughs> Speaking of painting, Brian, did you paint the high elf Mordorhain that Yusuf sent you? Oh, it's here. You haven't had it. It hadn't been sent to me yet. So it's really hard to ship things to me where I am. So I'm picking that up. I've, I bought an, a second batch of high elf stuff, yeah. including the stuff that's been sent. And I'm going to bring that in the next round. Uh, I bought that cool like chariot in the sky that's pulled by an eagle. Um, I don't even know how that This works. is why we play these games. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, it's true. It's, it's true. incredible. We got there. We're like, what the heck is this? It's a, it's a flying bird chariot? Yes. That's beautiful. I love and it. And it has like a bolt thrower in the front. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you aim that thing? <laughs> Can you imagine? And how do you not hit the bird? <laughs> right. Yeah, this isn't like a like a rotary like it, propeller. This right. is a bird. <laughs> it makes no sense. Um, so, yeah. But it makes... Too much sense. hundred percent yeah. sense. We're gonna have lots of that's a nice thing. It's it's the same it's the same thing that happens anytime you create a new army. The first batch, you're like, how do we get the bare minimum? True. We have a little wiggle room, but you just need to get the armies up and running. Now it's fun because we can be like, what happens if I add a bone colossus totally. or a dragon or whatever? Yeah. So And it's not so stressful to to paint up just one flying chariot. Exactly. I know Mel's looking forward to that for her wolves. So <laughs> yeah. thanks, Yusuf. Uh, lovely. Well, again, thank you everyone so much. Brian, thanks for having you, for being on. Thanks, uh, thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for playing this amazing game. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> really appreciate everybody. We'll catch you next time on the Tabletop. Bye! Bye.